Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and we're back. But today, it's not the newest Atari games, it's the oldest, oldest. Atari games. <laughs> oh, and the fightiest cats. Oh or the goodness. newest oldest Atari games. Newest oldest Atari games <laughs> from 1984 and 1985. Nice. Post-crash. Post-crash, okay. So we'll see how that affects things a little bit. Okay, okay. <clears throat> um... Oh, also, I'm wearing this t-shirt uh, in case anybody needs instructions on how to reassemble Atari 2600 cartridges. <laughs> Are you going to get into that topic? No. No? <laughs> People know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, I think they want In case want you need to, to know. disassemble some new Atari... Cartridges? Actual Atari cartridges. <laughs> Take the labels off, unscrew oh, them, no. flip the boards, reassemble them. So here's the... Uh, patent from 1979 in case <laughs> you or even Atari needs to know how to put cartridges together. Um, so today we have a list of games that we're going to be playing from 1984, 1985. Um, <clears throat> uh, we are both sick, but we'll get into that. In yes, we'll get into that too. Uh, <clears throat> I'm covered in vapor rub right now. <laughs> So we're back from Burning Man. Yes, we are. Thank you for the welcome back. Yes. Um, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers <coughs> who supported us while we were away. Al Nefer Harkham H, Arca, Arsc Armscar Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Charles Whelan, Colonel Lama, Dianoid, Danny VC, Dr. Mukels, Joe Goferman 96, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper, Ozure Rapper 2600, I Steal Newspapers, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, KV8080. Lord TDZ, Marco Yannis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike's Mr. Zarn, Mr. Mr. Fix, <coughs> Mighty Funster, Pack Rad, Coog, R. Anchowitz, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless VG, Six Sweet, Smitty B. Spice, Where S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Lost Cartridge, Welshman, Tiki Dan, KT, Foes, Turek, MD, and 2600. Both look darker. Yes, we are. Uh, <laughs> Dark oh, elves this. now, yeah. <laughs> Dark elves. <laughs> we were out in the out. sun for about seven straight days. So yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, if you want your name scrolling Ooh. down beside Tanya, just hit subscribe. If your subscription has run out, I know some of yours has because we've been away for two weeks or a bit. Um, <clears throat> it's free with, Am with Amazon Prime. Just link it up uh, to your Amazon account and it's free. Um, or you can just follow us and, and then you'll know when we're on the air. Like uh, 1,130 people have. With the tan fades, it would truly be after dark. <laughs> uh, I've noticed some Atari... Oh, thank you, Packrat VG. Just like Packrat VG. Mine has not run out, but he's on a 30-month streak. Wow, good job. Notice some Atari-related t-shirts on Public that are flying under the radar, such as the Star Wars arcade shirt. They're not using Atari in any description of the shirt. Yeah, if you put Atari... On a yes. T Public shirt, it's down. It's down, yeah. But I guess uh, Lucasfilm is not as uh, not as attacky. Uh, uh, of the Atari. Disney, Disney slash Lucasfilm slash. Uh, is, yeah. is that who owns the Atari uh, copyrights? Disney. Now? Yeah. Disney, Disney owns. Yeah. Uh, Usually they're well, worse. no, not Atari, but they own Star Wars. Oh, Star Wars. And I don't know who owns Star Wars Arcade. Because that's two different people. Like Atari oh. made Star Wars Arcade, which oh. we're playing today. Yeah, interesting. Um, so I don't know. Uh, thank you, the D Train. Yay! Thirty-one months. Hello, the thank D Train. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this morning too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, a little early. Early. Yeah, we're doing today. a two-day show uh, to uh, f finalize, finish up the last of the Atari uh, classic games because tomorrow. It's the 45th anniversary of the Atari 2600 release. Oh, my God. He's, he's uh, full of beans right now, this cat. Hype train started by D-Train. Yeah, Excellent. ooh, good stuff. The train has started the train. Yeah. Chirk, chirk, chirk. <laughs> um, yeah, we will briefly be discussing Burning Man, but not really. We'll probably. Thank you, Repellis VG! Ooh, 37 There we months. go. There's the hype, hype train. train. <laughs> um because we're going to be playing tons of games and we have to get through those games um and today and tomorrow so probably the extended burning man discussion will be on tuesday okay. our first proper show back yep um but we'll maybe interject here and there little, oh of course little well, things lots to lots to uh, talk about I'm so sure. uh, well we're sick 
And yes. uh, so all uh, we went to Burning Man and all we got was yes. COVID. <laughs> Woohoo! So we're both sick with COVID. Yeah. Uh, we're over the worst of it. Yeah. I'm a little, I'm like one day ahead of Tanya. I think so. Uh, you were pretty bad on what, Wednesday night? And then I was pretty bad Wednesday. on Thursday night. And then yeah. we've just been slowly getting better since then. Yeah. So, so, so knock on wood, no. Yeah, we're worse, both but... fully vaccinated as you can be at our age in Canada yeah. with three shots. So yeah. it didn't hit very hard. Yeah. It was like a really bad cold. Well, I had a bit of a fever. Yeah, uh, you had a fever. I had I a was fever fine. a couple of days ago, uh, which I don't <laughs> normally get fevers. They're very rare for me. Yeah. So. I didn't get but, a fever. Um, I felt a little cold and hot here, there. Yeah. Um, uh, we both got runny noses, uh, coughs. I'm just, it just sounds like I'm just getting a, over a cold and yeah. have a cold Sore right throat. Now. That was it. Achiness. Yeah. Oh, that was the worst part. Achy. A little bit achy. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, we won't go get into that too much. But, but we're getting over we it. We were we're getting over it now, it's so it's not fine. That so if big if, a deal if for I us. run out of the room to blow my nose or cough, That'll be why. you'll know why. <laughs> yeah. Level one hype train. Yeah. Excellent. Very nice. Um so we will, before we get into this list, we're gonna mm. play two games that yeah. we kind of missed slash couldn't play. Uh, which were Smurfs Save the Day and Berenstain oh. Bears. Okay. Because they use a tape player that okay. you had to hook up to your Atari 2600. Gotcha. And the games triggered the tape, and the tape played while you played the games, gotcha. and the games uh, can't work without the tape, etc., etc. So it doesn't quite work properly. <clears throat> so it didn't work properly. But yeah. yesterday, Thomas Yench messaged me saying they have just put in support for the kid vid uh, uh controller add-on system oh to stella oh just in time to uh insert it in before we finish this marathon yeah this countdown so we're going to briefly take a look at those two games in their full glory mm -hmm. um he said if you want to play the two kid kid vid games in their full glory on your 20 45th anniversary show you can use stella now mm. we have added kid vid tape audio support then today, this morning, he said, a minor KidVid update attached. This one displays the name of the games when you start them. So this will be in the upcoming Stella version 7.0. So this is a pre-release pre that we'll be playing of uh, Stella that adds the tape support. Cool. Um, so you can actually hear the tapes off of a WAV file. Oh, wow. Being played through Stella. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Okay. That sounds um, pretty fun. So... Yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing <laughs> right now. Bye, D Train. Thanks for dropping oh, in just to say hi. Thank you. <laughs> dropping in and out. Yeah, you bet. Can, have to, have to yeah. play them. Yeah. Yes, it is our legal requirement uh, yeah. <laughs> to, <laughs> to play every single Atari 2600 yeah. game yeah. Uh, that was released on cartridge. Are we going to start with those two then? Yeah, because okay. uh, they are older ones. They're from 1983. Um, and we have to emulate them because that's the only way that's going to happen. Um, so let me get that briefly set up. Things are a little, might be a bit chaotic today, uh, but mostly it should be fine. Just because we have been sick, so I've had <laughs> all the uh, abilities to get things ready completely. So that's let's okay. see how this goes. <laughs> So here we go. There is Stella. Here's the joystick for you. Thank and you. I'm going to bring up, we're going to play Berenstain Bears first. As much as you can play it. It's not really. Chaotic is fine longest. It's always chaotic good. Or <laughs> chaotic. worse, chaotic neutral. Chaotic neutral. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get the information for this game. So this was uh, sometime in 1983. It doesn't have a date. Released by Coleco, number 2658. Uh, you do need the kid voice module if you have the cartridge um, and the tape and a tape player. I, I'm guessing it doesn't you don't need a specific tape mm. player. Um, what is that? Rarity. Unbelievably rare. So, <laughs> And there's definitely no reason to buy this game <laughs> to play it other than collect it. Um, <laughs> screen looks cut off at the bottom. Yeah, once the game gets going, it won't be. Um, yeah, I, uh, 
I cut <laughs> it off me. on purpose. Mm. Um, okay, so I think we're ready. Let me just get up the hey. instructions. One for Stella oh, on how to control this, and two for Berenstain Bears on how to play it. 2600... And you will be coughing. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to <laughs> run out of the room probably at certain points in time. Oh, where's the Don't want to be coughing directly into the mic here. Oh, don't get sick. That's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I found it. Or not. Also, Vicks Vapor Rub. Oh, there we go. Highly recommended. Vapor Rub. Okay, here we go. So product placement for the day. Oh, so good. That should look right. Yeah, it does look right. There we go. Okay, bring up the instructions. Look at that. Press play. Did we try this game? Uh, we did load the cartridge. <coughs> And then we played a video of somebody not really playing it. Oh, I, I see. Because it's very hard to emulate this. Now it's not. Okay. Uh, or it won't be. Yeah. Um, uh, but start the ROM and then press 8 for the first game. Yes. That's what thrust is So we is play 8 for the first game, 9 for the second, and 0 for the third. So here we go. Big number hunt. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Bear Country. You know that you Mostly gone now. <laughs> so wow, it's correct. Lend an ear. Actual factual bear here, the world's smartest bear, known far and wide, ready and willing to be your guide. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah. Stay on the Works road well on the with the audio. Trip. The joystick will do it. Hurry, be quick. Push to the left to go that way. Push to the right and you'll be okay. There'll be things to do, oh, okay. things to learn. Is this the correct? Hot and there. beehive points no, to earn. Oh, no, you can't. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot. You're not allowed. Because we don't have joystick plugged in. <laughs> I'm like, this is plugged into the Atari. <laughs> I totally forgot. It was, uh, last minute. Let me find an actual joystick. <laughs> oh, it's upstairs. Yo, is it? Okay. <laughs> Cats, come and entertain the peoples. Come on. Cat treats? cat treats? Who wants a cat treat? Anyone? While James gets the joystick? <laughs> Shall I give you a couple of treats? Or do you want some um, catnip? Let's entertain. entertain Atari with a little bit of catnip here. Okay. You want a little bit of catnip? We have a joystick. The joystick should work now. Yes, once I plug it in. <laughs> I forgot that. Oh, yeah, we need a joystick. Um, <laughs> no second joystick in the room. Not for this application. <laughs> no. We have a lot of joysticks. Oh, I do, but it's... I don't know where the, a second USB joystick is. Hopefully this will work and I don't have to restart it. Yay! Here you go. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm going to the right. Oh, avoid those rocks. Oh, you hit the rock. How do I go? Boulders in the road, maneuver around them. If you're quick with a stick, you'll get around them. Wee wee wee. Catch a number, catch a number, catch a number if you please. Move your stick and catch a number. As it falls down from the tree. Oh my god, this is amazing. Not any number, not just any one you see. The proper number, the proper number on this round is number three. Don't touch another, don't touch another. Or a what? Didn't you just hear it? Said catch number three. I know, but there's no number three and nothing's falling. Well, don't catch those numbers then. Don't catch one. 
No, you weren't listening to that guy. There's at all. no number three. Well, they are changing. There's a three. Catch the. Oh, there's two threes. Uh oh, which one's gonna fall? Congratulations, may this be one of many standing ovations. <laughs> oh my god. I would have loved this as a kid too. Eat your heart out, Teddy Braxton. <laughs> well, looky there, just looky there. It's our good friend, Brother Bear. Wheeling along as nice as you please, looking for honeypot points for hives of bees. Honey pot points? It's on a unicycle. Oh. <clears throat> this is like there amazing. <laughs> it's pretty good graphics. Oh, there's a honey pot. Catching yeah, them, we're catching them. Catch Next number to catch is number five. Five fingers on wow. a hand, five toes on a foot. The problem at hand is very simply put. One less than six, one more than four. Catch the number five if you want to score. But it's going to be the same every wow. time, right? Or is it know. rewinding and fast forwarding a, a random amount? Maybe. I mean, Thomas would know. It's funny when you have to hear it over and over again during development. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That's definitely the way to go. Oh, wow. So, Thomas, did, did it rewind and fast forward to. Uh, um, no, it's always the same. Oh, oh, no. Big fail. You're going to die in the water. No, they don't ki kill Brother Bear. <laughs> no. They do different the songs. The next thing though. Brother Bear has to do is catch the number known as two. So many important things we use make a Okay. This is crazy. That's enough of it, this. It's amazing, the audio, though. How do I reset this? <laughs> nice. Not bad, old chap. Let's take a brief pause. Start game number two. Is there a second game in this one? It's not working. Let's see. Wow. The great letter Welcome. round. Welcome to their country. You know that you I wonder if this works with the uh, fast forward. You feel like a bear. It's amazing. A great oh, grizzly, great oh my god, cats. Oh. Great grizzly, great grizzly bear. <sighs> It's only a splash. On the laptop. Oh. And coffee. Coffee all over. Lend an ear. Bad kitty. The world's smartest bear, known far and wide, ready and willing to be your guide. <laughs> Stay on the road, an easy trick. Joystick will do it. Be quick. Push to the there you go. To Thank go you. Way. Everybody's entertained by uh, Berenstain Bears, thankfully. Thankfully. <laughs> things to do, things to learn. Honey oh, pot bad can be high points to earn. Boing, 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 boing. What? You can't move up and down. No, no you can't. It's just like, yeah, no. you're going to hit the rocks. Yeah. You, you can't, you can't, oh, oh. Can you? Kind of. I'm not sure I what's know. controlling it. I did move up and down for a second there. When I was... Oh, we'll go to the... Oh, it's just the same game except with letters. Oh, with letters. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go to the third version of it. Which is start game number three. Okay. Zero. Spooky spelling Ooh, bee. that sounds more complicated. Yes. Okay, this is definitely more than five minutes on this game. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I it's it's quite it's, it's interesting. Kind of a debut. Yeah. Because nobody's ever been able to play this game. Oh, treat time! Treat time! Great grizzly bear and stain. You can actually move up and down. I cannot see the title on the screen. Oh. Oh really? Oh, oh, it does cut off a bit of it. Oh, here comes the black cat. <laughs> Known far and wide, ready and willing. Oh, it's not going down. Cannot see title on screen. 
Yeah, the title when it comes up on oh, the bottom. Oh, I see. It's Stay cutting off a bit. It's a very Easy tall. Trick. The joystick will do it. Okay. Hurry, be quick. Thank you, Alna Fur. Who wants who wants treats? We'll show them in a to do things to learn. They should be in the cat cam. What was that? Whew. I'll extend it out. One second. Okay, I heard you. I heard you. One for you. One for you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. There. Thank you, Alnifer. It should be tall enough now. <laughs> You're so demanding. And we can see it. So let's <laughs> do that again. Sorry. <coughs> there. Game three. Spooky Welcome. spelling bee. Welcome. Kind of cut it off still a bit. Yeah, treat time for bad kitties after spill, spilling water on laptop. It's like, mm. You feel like a bear. Good, gray cat. Sorry, everybody has to listen to this <laughs> nonsense again. <laughs> to get to the spooky spelling bee. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. It wasn't, it was coffee he actually spilled on my laptop. Little black cat. Lend an ear. Actual factual bear here. The world's smartest bear. Known far and wide. Ready and smack it. Smack it, great cat. Good kitty. Yes. Oh, they are starving this morning. Poor starving cats. With milk, yes, with milk. <laughs> I have. Oh, my kittens. One for you. One for you. And beehive points to earn. Oh my cats. This guy picked with up this milk? bell. Yeah, with yeah. milk. <laughs> it might have got in the touch pad. No, it didn't. It didn't. It's just on the on the edge of it. Okay, let's see what this spooky spooky. spelling bee is. This doesn't look spooky at all. Cat, see? Meow. Yeah. As it pushes foot around, the mice tried to bell it. Now you can try to music spook. The first oh. word is cat. Yeah. He took yours. He's a bad kid. Of course it's cat. Nope. No, not enough. Uh, can I do a T early? Or does it want it in order? I I'm gonna know. catch that T if it falls. Oh, there's an A. Oh, it is gonna do it in order anyway. Need that tea. I'll stay on this side. Yay! It's good kitties. It's pretty good oh, you graphics. Ate. The black cat ate the gray cat. Oh. He is so, so mean. mean. Yeah, he's a meanie. <laughs> Here, that's for you. It's just a tall game in general. Uh, it's you. not a PAL release. <laughs> it's an NTSC version. No, like. no. <gasps> Oh, he ate it. Oh, he's <laughs> so bad. Yeah, I gave the gray cat two, and the black cat came over and ate. Okay, we're he's done sharp, that cat. with this this game. I'm the word one. Oh, different Am music. I name right, or I'll come to haunt you in the middle of the night. <laughs> it should have really um, made it spookier. <laughs> oh, Zed? Oh, oh my god. The word went away. It did, it was there at the beginning. Is it word one? Ona? Onana? Ona? On? Oh no, I missed the E! <laughs> oh no, I was busy getting wrong letters. Oh, there's another E coming. Get over there! Yay! Okay. We're gonna go to the Smurfs game. Good show. That's definitely the way. And that's another cassette game. Yes. The Smurfs game. <laughs> uh. No, Sprite wants unequal time with treats. <laughs> Sprite wants all the treats. Smurf, save the day. Oh, so cute. By Coleco. Okay, let's get the info for this one. Was it a tall screen from being a PAL release, or just tall in general? It's it's just taller than my screen was. <laughs> I don't think it's actually that 
It actually was pretty tall. It filled the whole yeah, it uh, did. emulator. The whole emulator. <clears throat> Smurf saved the day, November 1st, 1983, by Coleco. Okay. Uh, programmed by Rob Harris. Uh, cartridge 2511. Okay, you ready? <coughs> oh. Okay. So we'll play game number one. One second. Um, Thrust says you can Harmony reset this one, same keys. It's a Smurfy day and it's time for fun, so come along with me. A musical vacation with your good friend Harmony. But you have to help me with my song because, as you can see, the monkey's falling on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, kids, and stick around and pick them up for me. So funny. Low notes are low. I know you'll remember where they should go. Oh, oh, says them again. Okay. What? Oh, now it falls. Cute. Okay. That is so cute. So put the notes where they're supposed to be. How am I supposed to do Move that? Move let. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> you need focus. There you go. <clears throat> That was on the second line from the bottom. Press up. Nope. I can move him. What? I did this before. Give it to me. You have to press up or down or button or to get them up on the line. I don't think I don't <clears throat> think these the controls are working quite the way they should. What? HR puff and stuff. Yep. It's exactly that era of music. I don't know. I was playing. But this there's no button. There's no bu button fun functionality yes, for some reason. That. A press Look. A. Ugh. <clears throat> no, I was pressing up and down. Seems to be not working. No, because oh. it wasn't working in the other screen either. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. Uh. Sigmund, you're a rotten sea monster. <laughs> Stupid thing. I have to do this almost every time. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. There we go. One bit there. Good job. Luckily, the other game didn't need up and down very much. Thank you, RC70, for subscribing for 45 months. Wow. 45 months, one on the 45th Th anniversary. Excellent. Good timing. Oh, we have to do it again. Okay, well, we've done this one. We're going to okay. go to the next uh, game. <coughs> I loved all those shows as a kid. Land of the Lost Law. <laughs> This all looked creepy. I never watched any of them. Land of the Lost? Uh, all the HR puff and stuff weirdness. You didn't watch that? No. I always thought they were weird. I, I, I always weird. found them very creepy too. Who needs an excellent sorter? How about you want the job? Help Penny put things in order. I think kids would love this. Oh my god. It's the music too. <laughs> yeah, the game. Everything the seventies and eighties. Not the worst kids' games. No, 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 they're just simple, but right? The tape add-ons, if it was more randomized, like they could randomize it. And yeah. For young kids, this is one is remotely and difficult. This perp wants this place in shape. All hands on board, don't hesitate. Pick oh a circle, a square, or a triangle, mate. What's going on here? <laughs> Don't let him escape. Uh, it's a square. Okay. 
Oh my god, what the... Oh, I have to... Oh, I see. Oh, what? Oh, I can only press it at a certain time. There you go. Ah! Oh, that's kind of this fun. This is challenging for kids for sure. Okay, and open it. Then I have to be... What? Oh, did I mess that up? Oh my god, I have to go back here. Press the button. Oh, I see. Open it back up. Oh! Oh, you closed it again. It opens and closes at yes, random times. Yes, it does. Times. No, it, it's not random. It's time. Wow! Hey, Kathy Man 2D! Hello! And there's different <laughs> size boxes. God damn it. I missed it. <laughs> Uh, RC70 says, what is going on here? Was that music for the game? It's off oh. of cassette. What the hell? It closes at... You have to close it and open it. And it closes and opens randomly. What? I thought okay. it's timed. No, it'll close, too. Will it? Yeah. I haven't got a circle yet. Oh. Oh. oh, it is remotely difficult. Oh, James is having a lot of trouble with his shapes today. <laughs> shapes are hard. <laughs> I love how all kids shows in the 70s and 80s had jingles associated to everything. Yes, this is music for the game. It was on cassette tape. Oh, now it's Size. Size. Sorting by size, not just, not even shape. It's totally size. Mm-mm. Yeah. Middle one. Oh, what? There's a middle one. See, this isn't for kids. That's a little one. <laughs> this isn't even for adults. Oh, my God, it closed on me. That's big. That's big. Good job. Yay. That's small. That's a little one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, playing kids games it's a little one like you Yay. have to press it at the last second or else it'll close on you is cat doing? oh there's he's plastic rummaging. he's rummaging is that big or small bigger medium, medium. Oh my. but if you were three to seven years old you'd be killing this yeah <laughs> yeah i'd be doing very well if i was three to seven as an adult, this is failing. Oh, now it's colors. Every has colored thingamabobs. Each color has its own case. This is hilarious. This one's a bit better. This one, because it is randomized. Is it? Well, the game is the same, but it's progressing. It's unlike, oh, you have to get number... Five every time. Oh, I because see. Because five is in the song. Mm. Oh, one, I see what you mean. Yes. This yeah. one is actually um, the actual a gameplay one. is randomized. Yes. You, so this you're has playing the games value. in a set order, obviously, because yeah. it's on the set tape. And that's fine. Tape. That's how games work. You do levels, and they're yeah. always the levels are always the same. But so, in our absence. Ah! God this black cat has picked up some terrible habits. Terrible. The first is shredding all toilet paper he can find. And he paper just grabs towel, it too. and tears it apart. The other is he loves to rummage. And so he'll he'll find any bag, any anything he can get into and start pulling stuff out of it. It's very, very funny. <clears throat> it uh, synced very well. There were control signals on the tape. Uh, so I, oh, if you haven't watched a YouTube channel called Techmoan, definitely oh, yeah. watch Techmoan. He talks about cassette tapes yes, all a lot. the time. Yeah, actually, yeah. recently he's really gotten into cassette tapes. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing it might have had um, either a signal on the tape, like a, a tone, mm. or the piece of metal yeah. on the tape to say, "Oh, stop here." Oh my God. It started over again. Oh, is it shapes? Okay. Yeah. So we'll go to number, uh, game number three, Greedy Smurf. Oh, welcome, moms and dads, boys and girls. Who took care of your cats when you were gone? Oh, Greedy oh, Smurf. our friend. Do we have sodas for you in yellow, our red, friend white, and blue? And Greedy wants one just like Pumsy has, so help him fill his glass. Come on, you'll have a glass. Okay. The joystick, yeah. hang on tight. Uh -huh. Greedy moves left and greedy moves right. Uh -huh. Paint over the color. 
RC70, that is the funniest thing to ever watch on videos. Oh. Okay. It's bad for the cats, they freak out. They're silly. They're so silly. I'm just gonna go deal with that. <laughs> Okay, this game is actually not easy. happening oh there we go yeah, press down okay at first this one is easy but then it gets into color blending which is actually quite hard you know oh, it's fine. okay Just take care of some cat issues cat. <laughs> so you have to fill it up with the color okay that the the smurf at the top wants okay how do you know what color they want quality rhymes Sprig it with drink it that, that is <laughs> yeah good Oh, I see there. Thank you from all the Smurfs for helping Greedy quench his thirst. It's greedy. Greedy Smurf. So, I have to do this with yellow. Or, oh, mustard. <laughs> mustard color. Red like an apple. Quite a diverse. So you move it and Yellow then drink it? No, you just press it. White clouds roll by. It's country. Match the colors at the top of the screen by mixing and matching. You see what we mean? Yeah, who are the singers and musicians on the yeah. tape? That would be a good thing. Hired people. Okay, now this gets harder. <laughs> see the color? You have to mix colors to make that. Oh, really? Who's that? So this is going to be, I think, yellow, and... Oh yeah. Oh, it's too dark! Oh god! Is that right? Nope. Have to do it all over again. Okay, I put too much orange in it. Okay. A little bit more. Oh, oh, I think that's right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yum yum yum. Colors can be Oh, that's fun. Describing how you act. Red is mad. And blue is sad. And yellow's a pretty cat. But greedy's <laughs> acting thirsty. So what you have to do? The cat still. The color in the glass that's right in front of you. <laughs> don't want to interrupt it. They don't usually act out too much. No. The black cat's just a. Uh... <laughs> Black cat. <laughs> He's just a kitten. He's just getting into all kinds of trouble. Okay, this is probably oh, mostly blue. Yeah, it is blue. It's blue. Oh, no, it's totally blue. Looks a little darker. No, no, it's right. <clears throat> Paint mixing at your local hardware store, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Having cat is a being okay. Preparing you, up. preparing you for the paint mixing trade. You are anarchy cat. Anarchat. 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 Blue and yellow. I'll give you a hint. Ah. You did it right, hip hip hooray, but Yeah, this is a bit out of sync. Trust. Songs are one too early now. Yep. But the, you still play the game. <laughs> like it's congratulating you. Oh, I see. Even right though away. you didn't do it. Oh, I think I put too much. Yay! Oh, it worked. I didn't put too much. This is a much better game than the Berenstain Bears. I would say this for a little bit older. It is giving you massive hints. A big thank you from all the smurfs for helping greedy quench his thirst. <laughs> and they said red and purple, even though yeah. it's like orange and blue. Oh no. There you go. Yes. Okay, we've oh, seen all so the games. Cute. So cute. So cute. 
Now back to our re regularly yes. scheduled yes. program. Thank you, Thomas, so much. Yes. For adding this to Stella, and people are people. I always see people ask, so, "Why does Stella need updating yeah. all the time?" There are still A lots lot of, things. of things. Yeah. That still need to be done. Yeah. Uh, to emulate older games, and this is a perfect example of um, why they're still uh, needing to be uh, development on Stella. Like this, in all the years, has not been added to it. So this is a brand new thing. It's not even out yet. This is the first look at it. Yes. Um, that anybody's seen. So soon you'll be able to play these two incredible games. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> in their full glory. Mm -hmm. um, and this one, is not bad. Not bad actually. at all. Actually, yeah, I, I could see kids really, really. They're enjoying both kind of cool. The, yeah. the syncing of the music and the and the game itself. So applaud, yes, applaud to, to Thomas. Thomas. Yay! Thank you. Great, great stuff. And and whoever else helped him on that, but I'm not sure uh, who who did all of that. But uh, I know Thomas did. Yeah. Is music available on Spotify? <laughs> uh, maybe. Hopefully, it doesn't content match. <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, you can download the uh, the audio cassettes from Atari Age if you do uh, a search. Oh, cool. Uh, so that is it for emulation because there is no PAL games today. Um, so we have about 37, 38 games today. Okay. That's um, games. Going from uh, 1984 to 1985. There's only three games in 1985. Really? Yes. Just three? Just three. Wow. It really tapers off after 1984. Because the next show is 86 to 92. I know. That's a long. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's a long chunk. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Ready. Here we Excuse go. Me. Let's uh, get everything back up. Let's get the timer working. There we go. Five minutes is on the clock. Yay. Uh, let's get the chat back up on our screen here. Oh, sorry. It's How you doing? Nice. There's the chat. Okay. I'll switch over. We have the proper joystick. And the first game of the day is Extraterrestrials, not E.T., <laughs> uh, by Skill Screen Games, uh, sometime in 1984 by Herman Quast. Mm -hmm. It's a truly terrible game. And it's one of the most expensive Atari 2600 games ever sold. I think really? it's like $90,000 or something. It's really, really rare. <coughs> really, really, really rare. Um, it was this, I think this was the Met one that was made in Canada. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. It's an, a two player only game. Only? Yeah. Okay, so you're eating those dots and you're trying to find your hidden friend who is putting the dots on the screen try and go down you have to go down and get those dots i'm i can't go down i'm a i'm oh it's very sensitive what oh what am i doing um and there's like hidden walls that you can't go past and i'm trying to go get you oh you found your friend Did that's I? what that noise is oh i have to start the clock so it's like a chase. Definitely game. don't want to play this more than uh, we do. Necessary? Yeah, it's yeah, awful. Ah. And you're dead. Aww, it is ET. E. E. T. It's extraterrestrial, not ET. For copyright purposes. <laughs> Coming to get you. You are slightly faster. So that's what those walls oh, are for. But then you can't go up. That's terrible. When you hit a wall, usually you can't go up or down. Oh. And then you just end up in a... It's not a left or right thing? N no, no, I mean, like, you have to go up and down. But when you hit a wall, you have to go back, and it kind of screws you. Oh, God. So the speeds are pretty appropriate for me chasing you. Sometimes you get kind of stuck. I mean, I get stuck going up and down, too. Ugh. Yeah, it's, a, it's just a tag game, basically. Oh, there's no video game sounds. No sound. There we go. I muted it for uh, testing purposes. And dead. Oh, then dead. You got 296. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you play one more, then sure. I'll play. What? Now that you know. What the hell? Is that you or me? Find a way down. Oh God, it's Ooh, you. I can come back. That's very confusing. What's you? You're hitting walls, not me. Oh, it's me. Oh. I was like, I thought it was me, and I'm like, oh. 
I think you get a lot of points for finding your friend. What? There. So you two can own this for uh, under a hundred thousand dollars. What? <laughs> Are you serious? I think it was ninety. Why I is saw? it so expensive? It's super, 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 super rare. There's like just like a handful made or known of. Gotcha. Ugh. Is the person also blocked by the invisible walls? I don't uh, know. We'll test that out. I'm gonna see. Let me know when you find one. There's one there. To the left of you? Yeah. Okay, I'll go try that one. Nope, I can walk through them. Oh, that's which, weird. which makes sense because you are much faster than me. I'm not though. You're like it's twice very as fast. Very awkward as me. going down and up and down. Yeah, you have to be very precise in your up and down on this game. Yeah. Oh, you found your friend. <laughs> I, I, I don't. Yeah. It's very funny. It's a very 202. funny game. 202. <laughs> nom nom. Ugh. No! Stay away from me. Ah. <laughs> you have to you have to have an invisible arm go through the invisible walls. Oh what? Your friend is laying oh you there's, can go you oh, can wrap, you around. Can wrap around. Oh, that's that's very helpful actually. Hi! Did you get some treats already? Are you a lucky cat? Oh! Well, you found uh, your friend! I did. I'm gonna do better because now we know we can wrap around. Yeah, it does actually make it easier. <laughs> yeah. I, can you wrap around? Um. If good you question. can't, that would be is an advantage. interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Okay. I just hate the up and down. You seem it's to you so seem to be very good with it, but I cannot for the life of me. Lucky, and I'm getting it. I just like I get caught on corners, like here. It's very. Oh, I can't go up. Oh, it's really annoying. <laughs> it's, it's it's one really of those really precise. It, well, it like, was the '80s. They were all about eh, you get a well. one pixel perfect uh, up and down. Ugh. That's all you get. It's so awkward. You get caught on the up and you get caught on the down. Yeah. Yeah, now you're you're totally getting away from me. Oh, oh god, there was a wall. Ah <laughs> on the edge. That was not good. Nope. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you can get away from me pretty well. Um if Oh my I god. Could... That's why it needs those well, walls. Well, if I could get go up and down without getting caught every single time, <laughs> I could probably actually get you. Luckily we only have fourteen more seconds of this torture. Thank goodness. <clears throat> This kind of game is inexcusable in 1984, but it was just, you know, a dude in his basement doing this in 1984, which is not the worst, I guess. Uh, okay, there you go. A sprite taking a catnip yet? <laughs> not <Yeah>. yet. <clears throat> okay. Uh -huh. From one uh, mm. game to another, it's Gas Hog by Spectrovision. Uh... Sometime in 1984, SA-217 by Mark Termel. Okay. This is a total Moon Patrol ripoff. So you can't shoot up, though. Oh. Um, you can't fall down there. You need to shoot all the things or jump oh. over them. You die. So don't run into them and don't get shot. Um... <clears throat> When the screen starts flashing red, oh, you want to collect. Oh god. You want to collect the numbers. <coughs> collect the numbers. Don't shoot them. Oh, well, I, I collected one. There you go. And shoot the baddies. And when the screen starts flashing on the bottom, oh. um, you need fuel, and it'll be like a, an F. What's fuel? Um, it's an F. And oh, it's flashing. You'll need to look for fuel. When it comes. I haven't seen any fuel. Yeah, neither have I. How, how do I turn around? That's so weird. <laughs> Game over. How, how do I turn around? I don't I know. turned around and then I couldn't turn back. Maybe... That's super... 
super weird. Run right into it. That's not helpful at all. Um, it has pretty good graphics. Oh, uh, God. Gotcha from behind. And well, no, it. You jump. There's like a delay on some of the. It's a long jump. No, like it. It. You hit up and then it goes up. Do you know oh, what I mean? Really? Yeah. Oh boy. Now, unfortunately, now I turn right. around. And and how do I turn back? You just Would don't. someone please? Oh, there's fuel. Tell me how I turn back. I think it's one way and the other. Below is down. You can see. Oh, you just automatically turn the opposite direction when you go down? Because so. you can't turn to weird. the left right now, right? <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> I didn't say really... it was a good game. <laughs> you feel like you should be able to go back and forth. The, um, the end screen. <laughs> it's end, really weird. The end screen effect is not bad. <laughs> I do like the end screen, yeah. It's like a binary count. Oops, shot the, shot the thing that I'm not supposed to shoot. See, there's like a delay? Uh, nope. There's a tiny There tiny is, delay. It, but it does affect you a little bit. It's, it's very minor. Everything kind of slows, too. So you can, if you go to the back, it's slow. If you go to the front, it's very fast. Oh, it fast. speeds up, I see. So you can't shoot the guys up above, uh, unlike in Moon Patrol. You just have to avoid their shots. <laughs> okay, I need fuel. I just have to beat the fuel, I guess. Oh, maybe I can speed up a little faster. Oh, oh, maybe it's only in the bottom. I don't know. Because yours was in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. We apologize for our croaky voices uh, and, and coughing. coughing. We have a C word. <laughs> we are not that C word and not the other C word. Fortunately, you can still play video games in isolation. So that's... The best C word joke is in Arrested Development. What? Because that, uh, the boat in Arrested Development, their yacht is called the Sea word Oh. As in Seaworthy. Seaword. Sea, sea, sea oh, funny. Oh, it's a great, great pun that you I don't that. remember that. That's funny. And, and the joke is like, don't call your mother the Seaword. Something like that. Mm. Like, oh my god, that show is so clever. The writing is so the good. The writing is so good. And they'll make a joke that you can only get if, like, in season three that you watched all of season one and completely remember it. <laughs> and it's not, like, overt. Oh, my God. Hit from behind. Yeah. It's not the worst game. There's a lot of action going on. I've, oh, definitely played worse games. I mean, there's, there's, a. Uh... It's a, a little weird, but... It's um, a little weird. I think I need to go to the bottom again. And then you turn around, and then you can only shoot in one direction. Yeah, so that's, that's interesting. That's very bizarre. You have to get used to that. I need fuel. Where is the fuel? There. So only... <gasps> no! Oh, no, I missed the fuel. Oh, mm. oh time is up. Mm. Uh, not the worst. It's fine. It's a bit, it's a bit janky. <laughs> but it's got a lot going for it. Next one is uh, Quest for Quintana Roo. Uh, this one requires instructions. It is quite the game. What is it? Quest for Quest Quinta for Quintana Roo. <coughs> um, it's not bad. It's an adventure game. Actually. Okay. Um, so you're that little dude. Okay. Um, and then you go up the sides of the pyramid. Not yet. Oh. That thing's gonna fire at you. Oh. I think you avoided it. And then you press the button to go in. You don't have to go to the top. Okay, so uh, unfortunately this does use the switches. And uh, don't go in that yet. Ugh. Don't pick that up because that is to depoison yourself. Okay. Um, what you have to do is find five pieces of the map puzzle. Okay. And... Um, so you have to change different colors. And I think green hacks away at the walls. Okay. So go to the wall and press a button. You have to stop. And you have to look for 
little things in the wall that will reveal uh, the map or treasures. Little things in the wall? It may not be in this room. So you have to knock on all the different uh, Oh, areas. I can't go through. No, I have to switch you back to white. Okay, now you can go through because you've looked, searched everywhere. Now go look, knock on all the walls, on all the pieces. All the pieces of the wall? Yeah, avoid the snakeies. I haven't done one. the last one. Oh, doing them all out of order. Ah! Ugh, James. <laughs> Sorry. I don't even know done if I all? hit that. No, because the snakes, I ha keep having to dodge the snakes. Look like the end graphic might have been data for the audio, too. Oh, oh! Did that kill me? That what? Happened. I don't know. The snake got you? Oh, you run out of air as well. Oh. You have 90 seconds of air. So you can't take too long. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I'm going to switch you to blue. Shoot that guy. Oh, he can't shoot him. Let's try red for acid. Oh, you got him. Okay. Did I? Interesting. Yes, sir. Oh. Yay, treasure. Oh, you have to go to white to pick it up. Okay, now head out of there. It's the only thing that works. <coughs> Excuse me. Interesting. That's if you're poisoned. So. Poisoned by a snake? Um, you get the green if you are poisoned. You done them all? No. Yeah. Okay, sit out. You have 45 seconds. I haven't done yet. I'm not done yet. You're like so eager to flip it. Well, I don't want to get eaten by a snake. I don't know what that is, but... Okay. I just dodge him. It's too bad they didn't use the second joystick rather than the game select. I know, but they, uh... I would get the hell out of there. You don't have much How do help. I get out? It's not going to last time. Oh! Diamond, can you Nine, get Nine, eight... Seven, six, white me. Five, get to the door. Four, get to the door. Three, two. Yay! Yay. <laughs> yeah, the second joystick would have been better. Like, it's only one button. And that little thing shoots down left or right. So you have to go on, not right to the top. Don't go right to the top. You'll go to the same place again. Oh, what? Each level is different? Yeah. You have to remember which levels you've explored and which ones you haven't. It's not a terrible game. It's got a lot going for it. A lot it. of elements in there. Yeah. Hey, Arena Foot. <coughs> okay. All right. Interesting game. Yeah. Pretty decent graphics and a lot of depth to it. Next one's Motocross Racer by Zonox. Um, by Anthony Ooh. R. Henderson. Nice. Okay, so you're racing and you're avoiding. Avoid everything. Oh my god. Avoid everything. Just everything. And if you there's actually three levels to this game. Wow. They're all racing, and they're all different perspectives of racing. Really? So hopefully we can make it to the second and third. <coughs> so you just avoid? Just avoid. You can go, can go up to 100 uh, miles an hour. So you oh, do, really? You do want to go probably faster. Ah. If you can. Uh, oh, this I, doesn't really say it was on a double ender, actually. I think this one was a standalone one. Um, the next one we'll be playing, next couple we'll be playing, we're all on double enders. So I think this was just a standalone. So there's no notes about double ender for this one. And, and I believe all of them came as singles and double enders? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Singles and double enders. Are the ones that were available. Uh, 
Thrust also said for the last game, and fire and up and down to switch as well. Yeah, there's lots oh, of options. Lots of options um, that you can use to emulate menu things. Um, or standing still in button, or not standing still in button. Um, that can complicate things if it's too sensitive. So sometimes you need to put like a timer, like hold down the button for a second and it goes into a menu. Uh, or tap the button to do the action. Now I don't seem to be able to go faster than 30 miles per hour. Oh, is there a... Uh... Maybe because I'm on my last life. Hmm. There might be gears. <coughs> is there? Like up and down or something? No. No? Then No, I was... I No, no, right at the end there, I couldn't go past 30. Oh. I think because I hit too Maybe many things. Maybe because you crashed, yeah. It was like my last life. Restricting. Ah! <laughs> restricting you. It's a really it. cool, though. It's really cool. Yeah, the the thing at the the skyline. It really tells you how close you are. Grows. Yeah. Just like uh, angle. Aztec Challenge. Oh goodness. Which is really nice. Or uh, the other game where you were swimming in the ocean. That one as well. What was that one called? Rescue Island. Island survival. See survival? now I can't now I can't go past uh, thirty. So now I'm super slow. That's that's an interesting way to do kind of lives. Yeah. It's like well you get punished. You, if you can make it, you can make it. But uh, you know, what are the two times uh, for? I don't know. <sighs> you try. But get slower with each crash. Crash. It's very cool though. Oh my god. Yeah. It's very middle. cool. And I don't know if the middle's better, to be honest. It's hard to judge. <coughs> Things come straight for you, but when you're on the edges, you're more likely to just accidentally avoid something. I, I crashed up onto something in the edge and I didn't think I did. Yeah. So I'm a little bit more hesitant to be on the edge. Because I can more. kind of tell in the middle a little bit better. Crash detection is a bit hard because the things disappear when they get to your level. So, so far, this is the game I'm enjoying the most of the ones we've just played. <laughs> no, it's really cool, and I love how the background and the yeah. hill comes out off in the distance. You, you get closer and closer to it. I think that looks amazing. Yeah, I don't... I'm guessing they use two sprites for the motorcyclist. I love the little wheel, the spinny wheel. Yeah, that's really good because... They're making the graphics disappear when it hits you, which means they don't want the same thing on the same line. They didn't want any flicker. Yeah. And you can see there's two colors uh, on the same line for the motorcyclist. Oh, they might make it, maybe. Depends how tall this thing gets. There's a time factor. Or did you die when you crashed? So you're at 30, so you're at your last life, because I think yeah. that's the slowest. Oh, I want to make it to the next thing. See if Just you can. See, it. see how far you go. Yay, you were maybe very close. Ah! <coughs> that looks more challenging to stay on that track. Yeah, it's steering left and right. Is it? Oh, oh god, the timer just goes, goes insane, because you're off the track. It still goes up when you're not on the track, but or when you are on the track. It's just a void, right? Yeah. Oh. oh it's here too early. Get back on the track! Oh. It's obviously... Very detailed graphics on this level. Oh my god. And then the third one is a different perspective, the third level. background, good tree graphics. This will be a long show. I agree, Thrust, if he keeps playing all the games to, right to the end. But it's different. <laughs> it it is cool to see different. it, but it will be a long show if you do this for every single one. <laughs> What's the name of this game, please, says Charles Reese. This Motocross is Racer. Motocross Racer. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, Cafe Man 2D. I agree. This game looks surprisingly pretty fun and well made. It, it, it seems like a thoughtfully programmed yes. game. Yes. It's a 
pretty one note, so avoid the thing. But the fact that you have three levels does help a lot. Well, and and someone, uh, oh, oh you're at, almost at the end. You can do it. We can at least. Oh, oh dead. No. Oh well. Damn. Oh well. Don't have to. Uh, watch. We played the third level. Okay, next game is uh, Robin Hood. Now, this is all po also by Zonox. Uh, 1984 at some point. We don't know the programmer. 99005. This is available as a double ender. Okay. Shooting arrows? I see shoot arrows. Shoot the bad guys. You have to shoot 11 on this level. Shoot them. Ooh. Their arrows do disappear. Ah, I came from behind. Go to the center. Go to the center. A little bit better when you're in the center. And then when it flashes at the top, that means you've got 11 of the enemies. And then you proceed to the right to the next level. So when did Robin Hood Prince of Thieves come out? Was it around this time? I think it was later than this. I think it was later than this. Okay, you got enough. <laughs> Good old Get off Kevin to the Costner. right. No, you got enough. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Okay. You gotta make it, uh, you have to shoot a certain number and then make it across the drawbridge when it flashes. When the drawbridge fla fla uh -huh. bleh, flashes? When your bleh. line at the top flashes. Ugh. Okay, it's flashing. So go and, uh, there, did it right away. Okay, uh, there, ah, come ah, out. Ah, what is going on? You have to move and shoot. I think. No, no you have to avoid there's no it shooting. Point. There's no shooting. You have to go through there? Yes. Oh my god. Go through the doors. Go through the one that flashes. No! No! What what the hell am I supposed to be doing here? I think you go through the one that flashes. There, go through that one. Oh, try the middle one. Try the middle Oh, you didn't go through the middle one. Oh, there you made it. Go up the stairs. What the hell? This is very confusing. <laughs> Go up the stairs. Can I go up the stairs? What? <laughs> I fell on the stairs. How did I, guess. I fall on the stairs? I couldn't figure out this level. Uh, it's game over. Weird. Uh, nice graphics on this. It's bad manners to shoot a guy in his castle. I, do, I kind of <laughs> agree with that. Yeah. It is a cool looking room. It's a shame we can't figure out exactly what to do in it. But yeah. Uh, uh, very detailed uh, playfield graphics. They're doing uh, trees with it. Mm hmm. Zonox seems to do well with playfield graphics. Yeah. Says. I agree. Oh, yeah. Like the whole screen is detailed, uh, ref uh, mirrored playfield graphics. Uh, Charles Reese, are you okay, Refle Tanya? Reflected. Yes, we got COVID from Burning Man. That was basically <laughs> yes. the, the summation. <laughs> yeah. There, uh, yeah, we did. We, uh, there's a lot of people there. <laughs> All having fun and laughing. Yeah. Didn't realize it until we got home, though, because it was also 38, 39 degrees Celsius, which is like, I don't know, 103, 104. Yeah. And very, 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 very dusty. Oh, my God. So dusty. Um, so we were kind of tired and hot and so it was kind didn't of really realize until we got home that we were actually sick as well. Yeah. <laughs> so. We thought, oh, we're feeling really run down because it's but bloody hot. It's bloody hot. So, you know, probably we're sick for a little bit longer than, uh, <coughs> excuse ah, me. How are you supposed to avoid these guys? And then we realized you just have to dodge them, I guess. <laughs> just go through those doors. Oh, <gasps> Jesus. I don't know. It's bad manners to shoot a guy, period. <laughs> anyway, we're getting over it now. We're just still a little sick. We're just... Oh. <coughs> locked into our home. Yep, avoiding everyone. Trying to get better, and then we'll just... Have to do it twice. Completely disinfect everything. You have to reset to the <coughs> title screen, and then you have to reset again. Yeah. That's James will have to oh, spray all of his Atari 2600 cartridges with disinfectant after we're all... Yes, that's right. After we're all uh, recovered and <laughs> want people to come over. Nobody else is touching those, so I don't <laughs> think that's an issue. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Uh, How did I lose all lose all my uh, arrows? It went like... Mm. Luckily, after you... Sh oh, don't shoot that guy. That's your friend. You have a friend? Yeah. 
Oh. That must have been. Oh, you gotta. You uh, should still shoot them if they're gonna shoot. Yeah, I guess so. No Try. Darcy next show, I suppose. Well, oh. we'll see. As long as we're symptom free by it would next be Friday. Friday, it might be okay. But we have we some will. tests. We'll, we'll test. We'll, we'll be testing ourselves. So. Okay. <coughs> it's it's a game. It's I mean. <coughs> Excuse me. I've... Oh, these need to be disinfected though. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the joysticks. Next one is another Xanax <sighs> game. Sir Lancelot, which is actually a very cool game. Sir Lancelot. I had to play through these to make sure I know what the hell I was doing. It is Joust. Kind of. Mm. Button to flap. Get those dragons. Get those dragons. Ooh. Is it button to flap? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, you didn't die. No, because I hit him head on. And it's multiple levels of joust. Oh, wow, you can bump them from below. There's two screens. There's this screen, and then there's the boss screen after this. Yeah, this has really nice graphics. Very small and detailed. Sonix is uh, pretty good with the graphics. Okay, you have to get him in his belly. Avoid the fire. Oh, you can't. Oh, don't go into the lava. Well, no, if he if his fire gets you, why can't I move? Press one. Flap, 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 flap. I can't, fire... I can't. Oh, there, I see. You did it. You can't get past that line. No, no, no. And now there's harder creatures ah! that, that turn around. They're faster. Very cute. They are very cute. Pink wings. I kind of like this. It's really quite what? good. You hit your head on him. You have to hit your lance on him. Oh, God. Just like Joust. At least oh, you got the perfect on. program for being sick. Best moment for gaming. Yeah. It is. Ugh. I'm doing really poorly now. Back to level one. Oh, it's couch compliant. That's good. Oh my goodness. Move in a direction. Come on. Ugh. It is very specific. Oh yeah. Come it's on. Like Go in a direction. Go in a direction. You can do it. Flapping. I know, I know, I get it. I get it. <laughs> it's really annoying. Hey, it's my turn. You keep dying. No. Uh. <gasps> yeah, if you like Joust, you'll probably like this game. It it is it's like a remix of Joust. It is. I like it. Sir Lancelot obviously has a uh, winged horse <laughs> in this uh, in this lore of this video game. Uh, made by Zonox, programmed by Anthony R. Henderson. Pretty much all these Zonoxes are uh, programmed by uh, Anthony R. Henderson, so I'm guessing the last one was too. Oh, first shot. Yeah, There's easier. The, you're rescuing the princess. Am I? There. Yep. Oh, gosh. Head first into the... Because uh, they turn around. Chonker they dragon. Kind of, they kind of, uh, <laughs> you think you're going to... Uh, come on! That was definitely hitting him. That's life. And um, the creatures that there we go. The creatures change as you uh, go up the levels. It does seem to be lacking something with there being no platforms. Control looks poor. Just my control. Um, no, it's fine. <laughs> It's just joust. <laughs> joust is kind of hard to control and get used to. It is. Princess. Princess rescue. It's always about oh rescuing the princess in the castle. That's right. Oh my head. <laughs> oh, what? Maybe the rules are not like joust. Maybe you have to get them from above. Try from above. Oh, just missed it. No, you just have to be above them when you hit them. Yeah, yeah, you just have to be above them. Ah, I started over. Damn it. Or touch them with your lance. Yeah, okay. Just 
have to be above them. Got him. Yeah, joust rules gotta be above them. Control looks uh, Control is okay. Just wanna show off the third level. Dudes. Are you in the third level yet? No, yeah. still second. There. You're above him, though. Yeah, you just have to be above him. You have to be above them? And hit them with your lance. Oh, uh, but if they still have to be in front of them. Uh, yes. Okay, so it's a little bit different than Joust. Oh, dead. Oh, <laughs> to the pit. Into the pit. What? No, unfair. Oh, oh, it's fine. Okay. It's only if you if you fall into the pit that it becomes a problem. Yes. I think you're saved if you fall if, into if the If you just get hit. Oh, pretty. Well, look at those colorful Oh, so pretty. Good job, Zonux and Death. Yeah. <laughs> and programmer. And programmer. <laughs> get that list now. Oh, no, goodness. last more. life. More they stay in their own line, but they move the whole screen within their line. Okay, very cool. Sorry. Let's just show off the le next level count number two. <laughs> I know. Some of them are cool. Did you go past five minutes? Yeah. Oh, you're so I bad. I did, I did, I did, I did. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Next one is Tomark the Barbarian by Zonox in 1984 by Anthony R. Henderson, 99007. Tomark the Barbarian. Oh my gosh, we're nowhere in this. You've got to stop uh, ex okay. expanding the... Oh! Ugh. Nope, not Taz. <coughs> Too early. Now this game is actually... Uh, uses the controls well. I'll play it because it's very strange. Okay, if you know it. Then... And as soon as I started playing it, I'm like, this is very familiar. And um, so there's two screens. One, you are the uh, princess, and you can actually <laughs> defend yourself. Um, there's bats that fly, and you have to you have to keep track of two screens at the same time. Mm -hmm. So on this screen, you're the barbarian. Mm -hmm. And you have to find your... Oh, God. Find your sword. Okay. Is there an up there? Uh, yeah. There's different levels left and right, but this one there's you have a... to go up. Do you have oh, to God. go up? Yeah. But, the, but you have to jump up. You have to get uh, the right spot. There oh, my go. goodness. And you can't jump straight up because I'll show you. There's a hole there. Careful. Yeah. If you jump, st oh my god! Actually, the hole doesn't seem to affect. Oh, it oh does. you fell down the hole. And as soon as I started playing this, I'm like, oh my god, I know this game. I played this on my C64. Really? So if you See? jump straight up, you fall down the <gasps> hole. Oh, oh no! Oh, the princess got hit. What? Oh, made it. So in this level, you have to find your sword in one of these spots. Oh, I made it to her, but I don't have a sword. Is that okay? No. Nope. I just fall back down. Because I don't have my sword yet. Wow. Interesting. Um, yeah, I played this on my C64 and I'm like, oh my, oh, the bat's here. So you have to defend yourself. Gets the bat. Got it. Oh. Oh, you play the princess. You play both. At the same time. You're the barbarian and the princess. So you have to go to a safe place. Yeah as the barbarian to switch over to the princess. Well, I do like that the princess has some agency. That's that's yes, a change. That is good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that's her again. Damn it. You have to wait for him to fall down the Looks hole like again. Princess Bubblegum with a shaved head. <laughs> in there. Yeah, interesting concept, but those jumping physics look really awkward. Well, yes, they're, they they're do. old school jumping physics where you can't change direction. <laughs> And uh, how do you go down this hole? Up and down. Oh, you have to yep. jump. Yeah. I found my sword. Finally, a princess which can defend herself. Yeah. She's still locked there in her is. room. Woo! Get it! Okay. Now I have to go back to where the princess was. I think it was a couple screens over. Thank you, Kathy Man. I do need a hot tea in a nap. <laughs> Actually, oh. I'm not too tired. Get that. <laughs> But the hot tea sounds good. I'm drinking cold tea right now. Yeah, I've been having a lot of hot tea. Yes! Yes. 
Da -da -da. A minute left. Okay, your turn. Mm. Oh you no, you to, keep playing. You, you keep get, playing. No, you don't want to experience the No, it the looks, fun it looks, physics. it looks horrible. <laughs> I, I remember having nightmares about this in my C64. It's like, oh, the so you jumping. had this on your C64. I did. Uh. And as soon as I started playing, I'm like, I remember this jumping. Oh, she got him. Good job. Accidentally. Oh, she's out of lives. Not good. Not good. Come on, sword. So you just hunt for your show sword and then go back to the princess? Is that it? That's the game. <laughs> <laughs> At least level one is. Oh. He's good at jumping. Oh. No? No bad. Is she dead? No. Oh. <gasps> Yay! Da -da -da. Oh, there we go. Quick, quick level two. Nice. Yeah, she does. She is bald. That is a little unusual. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. She has alopecia. <laughs> that was a good quote for the box. It looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it looks horrible. Oh, I think he died. Three seconds left. Tomark, it's got ideas about the duel. Um, yeah. That's a great idea. And you don't see that very much about yeah. defending two people at the same time. Um, the jumping's a bit, eh. Uh, and pretty shallow gameplay, but. Okay, it's Beam Rider. I swear Ooh. I have this on cartridge, but I don't know where it is. And uh, we all know Beam Rider. Oh, it is yes, we do. Magnificent, this game. Magnificent. Shoot the things. That's what the name of the game is. Uh, this is by Activision, March 1st, March 1984, uh, by Dave Rolf and Larry Zwick, AZ03704. Putting a star beside this one, or a check mark beside this one, because it is. Can't remember, do awesome. I, I avoid? I avoid. You should get those. These? Yep. Not the pur but I avoid the purple things, right? Those are shots. Yeah, avoid the purple things. Ah! Blech. I'm like, I played this, but I can't remember exactly what's good and what is. She's fighter. She's a fighter. She knows long hair is just it's another, another vulnerability. <laughs> yes, very true. Very smart. Very true. I mean, very she's, true. In, she's in trouble. She's in combat. She's got to know uh, her weaknesses and strengths. She's got magic. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, she can't escape the cage, but she does have magic. And if she. Ah, dodging. Shoot him. Oh, you have to use your special shots. Oh, what's the special Down shot again? Down or something. Down or up. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's how you get an extra life, I think. Yes. Oh, now there's rocks. Oh, yeah. Space rocks. Space rocks. It's all coming back to me now. <clears throat> they knew the 2600 by then quite well, and it shows. Oh, yeah. This... This game is an this is an awesome game. Incredible example. So much fun. Of knowledge of how the 2600 works with the number of things on the screen and the placement of the screen. Uh, get it? What? Uh, that oh, thing. I missed the yellow thing. Sorry. I, yeah, I think that's lives. It is. It is an extra life. Yeah, and the other thing at the end is massive points. That's yeah. What it is. Based on how many lives you have. <clears throat> Yeah, the sheer number of things going on in this game shows uh, the advanced knowledge of what you can do. No, no, oh, you got it. Nice. Uh, the lines going, the dots on the screen, uh, the fact that they're staggered dots. Yeah. Really like the background of the spots blinking in and out. Yeah. Really, really great. And they're blinking in and out because the line is passing over. There. And um, the options that this game gets to is also amazing. Like the things that bounce around the screen that you can't destroy. I can't remember. It's been a while since. Yeah, I, got, I, I know there's, the there's some this. that bounce back and forth, and then they, they block you at the bottom, I remember. Yeah. <coughs> Damn, it's expensive on eBay. 65 USD cart. Oh, you shot your extra life. Did I? Yeah. I did. See, the problem I always found with this game with the extra life is because it's yellow, you don't know it's not a... 
Oh yeah. Bad guy from a distance. Oh yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh god. Ah, sorry, my coffin's distracting me. <laughs> Like, if any game should be expensive, it should be this one. Because this was after the crash, so a lot of carts got returned. Yeah. A lot of carts didn't get bought. Um, so if you mix awesome game plus limited number of cartridges, uh, that equals expensive. Yeah, those things get in your way, so you have to wait, wait, wait. Move no, on. No, I hit shoot. the wrong. I, I used the oh, you shot. shot. Yeah. I have to hit backwards. There's one for hundred dollars cart only. Wow. Thankfully, it got released. Unlike so many other ones. Yeah, this one. Some of them got. A lot of them got shelved. Um, a lot of games. Uh, we're just like in prototype phase or never got finished or oh, oh right there's a it. free man coming down Damn it. Last it's okay. life. I remember because I remember we were trying for high scores. Yeah, and the things that go across the screen you get lots of points Massive. for so That's kind the key. of yeah, it's it's really about it's, the points. It's anyway, it's we've played this many a time It's a great game uh, This one's high up there. Okay. Next one is hero. Yeah, which I do have the cartridge for Andy if it works, may not. Back to black. Back to black. Try a couple more times. <laughs> One more. And it gets boot. Gets the boot. Oh. <laughs> Too bad, hero. Not the hero today. You've got more than one hero, don't you? No, they're expensive. I do not have more than one hero. Another expensive post-crash game. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. We were playing so, a version of this, weren't we, or this game? Nope. Uh, we are going to be playing a uh, hack of this game yeah. on Tuesday. Oh, cool. Um, by game. game select um, where they completely changed the enemies and the maze layout and a bunch of other things like hero version 2 or something hero 2 yep yeah. yep so we have um, they have graciously let us uh, play that game they just released it um, a couple days ago at a um, convention anyone else get the sense James has played this game before I'm not great at it. He's like, boom, 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 boom. I don't have the patch. It gets super hard, in my opinion, because of the um, controls. Yeah. The uh, the hovering. It's not instant. So you have to deal Time with the non-instant hovering. Just but yeah, I have played it before. <laughs> never, never take the easy route. Is Never this, take the easy no, route. No, easy yeah. route is always going to end, end you up in a room without any light. It so. is a fantastic game to play. <coughs> my goodness. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Dying. Oh, I've been... Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. I wouldn't say that. No. You're not. You're fine. I'm getting... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, also, Slowly. Uh, we have played this for the 7800. Muddy Funster. Yes, it's that's made, what that's what we played recently. Excellent version that mm -hmm. fixes the hovering issue. That's what we played recently. That's what yes. I was trying to remember. But we are going to be playing it on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, another twenty six hundred hack version. Is it here? Yeah. I always take the hard route because <laughs> there's a dead end there, as you can see. And some routes are impossible to take, like that spider there. Yeah, you clearly know where you're going. Well, I just know where not to go. <coughs> <clears throat> and always take the left-hand side, because the lights are always on the right-hand side. Really? Yep. Oh, uh, the left edge, I yeah, see. Yeah, take the left edge. So always go down the left edge, see? And always go through the uh, opposite way, because the other way is always blocked. Like that. Yeah. 
downstairs just fell down. I'm actually not playing terrible today. <laughs> Probably because there's no pressure or something. Yeah. I'm like, eh, eh, time's gonna run out, meh. So, yeah, How much can you one. do in five minutes? Whoa, brown sludge. Brown sludge? Ooh, the bottom. Uh -huh. Brown sludgy water. <coughs> Never <laughs> noticed about the t lights? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just noticed that while playing it. I didn't even read it. I was like, oh, the lights are always on the right. Yeah, so you just hug the left edge. Yeah. And it's a lot of... Oh, first step. Damn it. Luckily, you start where um, you die, which is really nice. Oh. Oh, no, it worked. Oh. Uh, So lava walls you can't touch, right? That is correct. Oh, this is where I start to die. Where you have to hover above the um, the water. Yeah. And you have to time it like this. Ugh. You have to... <gasps> oh. You have to jump off that ledge because you can't... Like, it takes, like, one, two, three seconds to... Mm. Or two seconds to start hovering. That's crazy. The patch score is, like, 75,000, I think. I'm actually doing not terrible. Yeah. I always like that if you get hit by an enemy, that enemy goes away when you respawn. It's nice to not have to repeatedly try to get past it. Oh, god, yeah. Well, your five minutes are up. Oh, no, but I'm doing... Okay. <coughs> oh, no, I'm not. Now you made me die. It's your fault. Me? Yep. There you uh, go. And dead. You jinxed it. Next one is Pitfall 2. Another Activision classic game. The oh, you could shoot the walls, Thrust says. Uh, yeah, take forever, though. <laughs> Oop, stripies. Act to plaque. Timer introduced pressure. Game over. Act to plaque. Oh, I see. 5200 version, Cafe Man 2D says, requ requires analog stick to hover, which makes it impossible on normal emulation. Oh. I have to go cough in another room. Sorry. Oh, you might go have fun. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Pitfall 2, which introduced um, chip, DPC chip, into the, uh, into, for the Atari 2600, which gave this game four audio voices. And um, made, makes it look awesome. Oh, yeah, there we go. Awesome. <clears throat> so your uh, job is to, I think, rescue the... It says no. Mouse says no. <clears throat> oh boy, Pitfall 2, the game with the music, gets stuck in your head. Oh, and your goal is to get all the bars and to rescue that lion, I believe. We played Pitfall 2, 5200 high score uh, club last week. I played it a lot. Oh, nice. Look at that water. So awesome. And the electric eels. This this game is astounding. Made by well, I can't read it because playing, but uh, oh, I'm inside the rock. Oh, well, that's a weirdness. Uh, March 1984 by Atari, or by Activision. Sorry. Oh God. Let's stand here. Uh, <clears throat> AB 03504, made by Steve Cartwright and David Crane. Uh, good vertical scrolling, amazing uh, playfield graphics and graphics in general. Uh, the first 2600 game to introduce checkpoints. Kind of. I mean, other things remember where you died and continue off where you died, like the last game. But this is like actual checkpoints, where if you die somewhere else, it transports you back, which is unbelievable. Uh, I must be the odd man out. I did not care for this game. I remember finding it frustrating. It is not easy. It is a challenging game. And it is very linear. So I can... Yeah, you honk. You tell him. Tell him with your horn. Um, it is a very linear game. So it's the same, like, every time. So I can see why people... Oh, God. I like how you can adjust yourself while you're falling, like a pixel every level. It's 
nice little addition. Uh, I still don't have a patch for this one, or the completion for this one, so I still need to play it. Is there a patch for this? I think there is. After a while, Activision stopped doing patches. Oh, there's gold up there. Let's get that. <coughs> I believe there's a perfect score in this game, just like there is for Pitfall as well, as long as you don't fall or hit anything. <clears throat> and it has a lot of cool little additions, like floating with um, a balloon and, and, and um, swimming. Oops. Stop it. Stop it. Ah! Amazing graphics, amazing music. Oh no, now you get to see the checkpoint. And it scrolls to the checkpoint, which is also super cool. Um, different themes, all the way back up there. 10 seconds left. <laughs> oh, I missed that gold bar. Oh, what is this? <laughs> you missed the whole thing. Pitfall. One of the most Impressive games ever made on the 2600. This is Pitfall 2? Yeah. Pitfall 2. Nice. It's got levels. It's a platformer. It's like a full-on platformer. Oh, yeah. It's incredible. Okay. It's over, though. Okay. That's fine. I missed the whole thing. <laughs> one of the most impressive games ever made in the 2600. Uh, Private Eye is the next one. Nice. Uh, made by... Um, Activision by Bob Whitehead, AG03404, March 1984. Uh, this is a really kind of fun looking oh, game. Oh, wow. Okay, first level. Okay, let me show you how to play it. Okay, actually, actually if you need to show me. So this is all you you jump. You, jump? you can jump over things on the floor and jump <laughs> over things that are mid-air. Okay. So you have to go find, I think at the first level you have to find... The bag of gold. You have to get those guys. That guy popping his head out. He may have something. No, he didn't have anything. So you have to watch out for that pot pit hole. Yeah. Or pit. There's some crackpot uh, flowers being thrown at you. <laughs> get them. Nice. You don't have to avoid that, oh. thankfully. Ah! Avoid those. You lose points um, if you get hit. Cool. You have to bring the money back to the bank and the gun back to the... I don't have money the, yet, do nope. I? You have to get it from one of those guys that, that are shady. Nope, that guy didn't have anything. Jump over Jeez. the little rat. And the bird. Oh, very nice. Ah! Nice. Uptime. Oh, funny. I've never seen anybody do that yet. <clears throat> Quick... Claw, the lion, and Rhonda, your niece, come from a short-lived pitfall cartoon. Oh, you got the gun. So you have to bring that gun. Don't get hit by any, uh, anything. Oh. No, no, that's the dead end. Nope, it's dead end. You can't oh, you can't over. go past. Okay. Okay, so now you have to go find the gun store. Oh, nope, God. Jump over the pitfalls. Pit holes. Not pitfalls. <laughs> I think it's like an oil slick. Yeah. Ah. It's hard. Jumping over both of those. Oh, I did it easily, the last... Ah! <laughs> so, not the bank. The police station? Uh, no, it's the gun store. You have to take the gun back to. And I'll show you something when you get across it. Because I don't think the gun store is on this level. You press up when you go there. And it takes you to another level, which looks super cool. Um, and then... One way or the other. Uh -huh. Oh, good job. Those rats must be huge if they cause trouble for your car. Oh, don't let that guy sh throw a knife. Oh, that's the end guy you have to get. Oh. But you have to return the stuff first. You can't touch him. Because you have to get all the proof that he's a bad guy first. Gotcha. So all the way, way to the right. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh my <laughs> goodness. He's so erratic. Hey! Return the gun. Okay. okay, now you have to keep going on this level because I think you got everything on the first. I 
think you're right. That's to the next level. You keep looking for bad guys in the windows. Oh, jump over that completely. Get him. Get him. Nice. Now you go back to the bank. Don't get hit by that thing. Or you lose oh! it. Go back. What? Go back. You lost it. Did I? Yeah. And you ran out of time. Okay. Okay. No, I get it. That's cool. Yeah. And um, different levels have different objectives. Those rats must be huge if they cause trouble for your car. I read that. <laughs> oh. They are New York City rats. Oh my god. They are the pizza stealing rats. Are the locations of the items and are special buildings randomized? I believe they are. They kind of do look randomized, don't they? Yeah. It must be weird to be quantumly tangled with your car. <laughs> it's a strange feeling to be yeah. quantumly tangled yeah. with your car. <laughs> because you can change direction in midair, and your car does too. Yeah. So it's it's a smart car. A, I think I think you just car. have really big suspenders on, and then you jump up, and the suspenders <laughs> pull you back to yes. your car. Yes, invisible, you know, made out of fishing line. Yeah. I think maybe that was the same spot. Uh, I don't think it was. No. I don't know. It Maybe was a, it was. You got it at the end. No, you're right. I think you're right. Maybe it's not randomized. I don't think that bird uh. comes down to get you. I think he stays up there. He does, but if you jump, he'll get you. Yeah. <clears throat> so he's not a problem if there's no rat. Yeah. There's the bank. <laughs> this looks like the same layout. Yeah, so this is the first level again. Oh, I want to finish this. No, no, no. Uh. No, no. You've seen okay. enough. You've seen enough. It's a pretty cool looking game. I don't think there's a patch for it. Can anybody verify if there's a patch for it. Next one is Millipede. Centipede, but slightly different. Ah, this is actually Knight Rider and the car is Kit following <laughs> underneath you. Okay, play. What is it? What's it called? Uh, Private Eye. So it's Millipede, slightly different than Centipede. There's uh, explosions when you hit the DT. Uh, well, I'm not good at this game. <laughs> move up and down. Too. Oh, I always forget. I'm, I'm not a good uh, you shoot everything. centipede person. That's a, a bomb. Oh. So you don't want to shoot those unless you have to. <clears throat> so we have some comments. Um... 2600 said, so many good games in this lineup and too many to list. Here's some standouts. Hero was unique in gameplay and great graphics. Uh, Pitfall 2 needs no introduction. Solid game all around. Millipede, better than Centipede in my opinion. Montezuma's Revenge, great action platformer. Yes, it's Ugh. unbelievable for a 2600. Mr. Dew's Castle, really good game once you get the hang of it. Not couch compliant, unfortunately. Sadly, no. <laughs> And uh, Tapper, I like beer and another decent port on the system. It's a really good port. Um, so this is uh, made by Atari, uh, March 1984, CX 26118, uh, programmer Dave Stogus, uh, graphics Jerome de Moret, sound Andrew Fuke, and also sound Robert Vieira. Oh, the fleas. Oh, the fleas are coming for you. Get out of the way. Almost done the level. Yeah. One more. Why is it so hard to get the last one? Get him. Oh, move out of the way. Oh. Ah, the spiders. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible at this game. Super Sleuth patch. Minimum score required in Private Eye by Activision for the 2600 during a patch was complete game three. Oh, so you just have to complete game three. I'm sure it's really hard because there's a time limit. Get that last. Oh, he's multiplying now. Oh, get, get. Why are they so hard to get when they're singles? <laughs> Ugh, spiders. This is only one. My turn. All right. Oh no, it's couch and plant. I pressed the button. It started. Oh, he hit the side and came down. It's way too high up. Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, it's better. I'm back anyway. Yay! Oh. Looks like a little hamster. Oh, 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 oh my god, oh my god. Very cool. Lots of, uh... Hamster came, came out, out the side. Hamster. 
It's not a hamster. <laughs> Maybe a private eye after dark forthcoming. I think that would oh, be a will pretty be. fun one to play. There yeah. will be because we have to get the patch in. I, I I like I like games like that that have like a little Maybe bit of just, a oh select starting score puzzly element to them going through the screens finding the stuff. Oh yeah, that's a really cool one. And if they're always in the same spot, you can get improvements pretty quick by optimizing your route in that one. Good job. Thank you. <coughs> Cathaman ah. TV. Oh, I see the fleas, mummy. Can't you see the fleas? Name the film. The fleas. The no, fleas. I definitely don't know that film. No. Excellent flicker uh the routine. Oh, he's making the graphics permanent. a little worse than centipedes. Like the spider looks less detailed. Yeah, I think that's tr probably true. Y yeah, maybe. They probably just changed it for changes' sake. It's like, oh, we can't reuse the same spider. But there's a lot more going on in this one. Like the yeah. hamster is making uh, <laughs> ma making the uh, the mushrooms permanent, and they have a little flicker. Need to stop staying by the sides. Terrible. Is it in yes. reference to a flea circus? Yes. I don't know that. Mm -hmm. I don't know that one. Uh, good game. Great Very good game. game. Okay, next one is uh, Oscar's Trash Race, and this uses the kids controller. Ooh. I think we have to start it up first. Was this controller basically created by Sesame Street? Yes. Well, not by them, but for them. The Children's Workshop? Yeah. Children's Network Shirt Workshop? Children's Children's Workshop, something. I think it was. Yeah. Okay, so if you can load it up, then I'll switch it over. Okay. Oscar's Trash Race. And I will, after read the instructions, I had no idea what's going on when I loaded it up uh, yesterday. Okay. Backing up, throwing some trash into the, the bin. Oscar's Trash Race. It's super long instructions, so good luck to us. <coughs> uh, Read it out loud? No, it's it'll take more than the oh, time. Oh, five I have to minutes? Through it. Oh my god. Uh, there's lots of levels. Uh, I wonder how many uh, dot matrix print pages that would. Help the little grouches count the trash. <coughs> Run to it, load it up, return to the start as quickly as possible, get ready to play. Uh, use a keypad and overlay to select a game level. So, pre start pressing buttons. Two? No, no, I am pushing buttons. Oh, you're doing it. Okay. <laughs> Don't push buttons while I'm pushing buttons. To move the grouch down toward the trash, press the arrow that points down. There's no arrow. Yeah. I bet it's like up, yeah, down, left, right is. kind of thing. Um, to, to make the grouch jump, press a jump button. So there's a jump button as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Several patch active action pack game levels. Practice games. You're on the practice Jurassic game. Park. Hmm. Do not remember that quote. Thank you, Captain oh, Man2D. Fleas? There was fleas in Jurassic Park? Hmm. It's been a long time since I've seen that. Yeah. The trash truck dumps out one to five pieces of trash one piece at a time. First count the trash as it drops, then yep. look at the grouches. The correct number appears on the grouch cans. Select the little grouch by pressing the grouch button in your overlay, which corresponds to the grouch's position. Oh. So you have to pick one, two, three, I guess, at the top? Yeah. Well, of the grouches. Of but the grouches, and then one you move grouch, down. It just says one on it, so you just pick the one with the one. Oh, this is Weird. practice. That's why. It's practice? Yeah. So we'll go to... Uh... I'm like, this is very easy. <laughs> but that makes sense. Oh, there we go. That makes more level sense. Level two. Okay. We'll go to level two, so it's not practice. All right. I'm like, this is a very easy game. Oh, it's Hammond talking about the first attraction he ever built. Okay. Game two, one player beginner game. Oh, you picked the right. Grouch. So. 
You just run down and run down. Yep. Oh, it's Hammond talking about the first attraction he ever built. Just something. Funny. But now all the, all the tr cans of little grouches are numbered. Oh. Four. Four. So, so you, you pick, pick the middle one. So you, far it's always been the middle one. And you have to <laughs> <laughs> physically move him down and back. Yeah. I guess you have to physically get all of them too once you're down there, right? Oh no, just no. gets all at once? Yeah. Ah. That's pretty straightforward. And then there's some jump games. Uh, select the grouch. Uh, there are puddles. Cute. So we will play game three. So now there's puddles that you have to jump over. So what do I... I wonder what the jump button is. Probably Maybe eight. Could be... Yeah, one beside it. So then I would pick one. Oh, avoid those puddles. Jump. Looks like a jump. Yeah. Twelve seconds left. Twelve seconds. Oh, I not in the game. <laughs> no. <coughs> Decent graphics. Yeah, it's an a, extremely uh, simple game. <laughs> Good kids game. Yeah. Like the skyline. Extremely yeah. simple. <clears throat> Looks cute though. Next one is out of control. Thomas will like this one. Because it's thrust based. Oh, <coughs> oh. Put back in the controller. And it's actually a really good game. Out of control. Load that up, please. Right. Uh, March 1984 by Avalon Hill. 5005002. AH, Avalon Hill. Okay. Uh, you have to go through. The slalom. Okay. By uh, pressing the button to thrust or up to thrust and left and right to turn your. Oh, oh, you're changing levels. That's fine. No, nope, you missed the first one. You have to go through the two things. You have to go back. What? You have to go back. You have to go through the two poles. Oh. oh this is that. really bizarre. Okay. Press the button. And go down to level one. There you go. Press the button. What do I have to do? Yeah, there you go. You got it. I go have to through go them. through them? Yep. Did I hear my name? Yes, you did. Now you have to go to the left of that. The what? arrow. See the arrow? Oh, my God. To the left of it. Go back. Ugh, I do not like thrust based games. Thrust, this is a game for you. <laughs> it is. I think the Big Bird game might be the most interesting of the Sesame Street games so far. That was the one where they roll down the, they go chuk, 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 the eggs, right? Yeah. Oh, why isn't it lighting up? What? It should be going ding. No, I think you missed something. I don't think I did. Unless those three things that were flashing, is it all wrong? Yeah, something went oh. wrong. I don't think you can make a mistake or something. Press button. There you go. So I went. Go through the middle of those two. And it should light up and make a noise. There. Now don't touch those. But no, no, I. I don't know where I'm supposed to go with these because that's the thing that didn't work. Uh, do I just go around it? Yep. Okay, just that go around worked. And go to the left of that. So I think you crashed into that last time. And I did. Made a... And that was it? There you go. You're, you're good. You're over? Once you crash into something? I guess. Wow. But then it, you keep playing. That doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Thrust says too easy. <laughs> but this is timed. It's not too easy. It's timed. You have to go quick. <coughs> and there's more than just this. There's multiple levels. That's good. No enemies. Ugh. I have to go back through this one. Oh. Do you? Yep. It's, oh. it's white. If you touch, if you crash, you have to go back. Yep. That's right. Don't touch. 
No! Oh, don't oh. touch the sides. That makes sense. Yep. That's Penalizes what, that's what you. I did wrong. Yeah. Yep. Am I done? Nope. Now you have to uh, get all of those. And I think there's like ten of them. You just have to touch them. It's made by Gene Bayer, Bill, Rebecca, and uh, Heinemann, and Jim Jacob. Looks like a creepy face with blinking eyes and big lips for a second. Oh, one of those things? Not too many thrust-based games that we've played. No. I think this is like only like... I mean, there's um, asteroids. Then there was one where you go around the s outside of the center, which I can't remember the name of. Um, and there's Gravatar. Then there's this one. <clears throat> Omega Race. Thank you. That's so. That's what I was trying to think of. Omega Race. Oh. Just missed it. Four seconds. You're almost done. Yay. Okay. This is hard. What do you do? You have to get inside of that without touching the sides and then stop inside of it. So you have to line yourself up vertically first. There was one really early star something. Oh, I can't remember that one. Luckily, there is some uh, friction, so you do slow down. Is Star Castle thrust mechanic? Yes, it is. Yeah, so Star Castle. Oh, I think oh, a little bit more up. You think so? Yeah, you... you uh, yeah, one more. One more pixel up. There we go. And then do it very slowly. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Be completely inside it. Past that opening. <laughs> there you go. Yay! Yay! Okay. Interesting game. <clears throat> Next one, Shuttle Orbiter, which is okay. very complex and we will not be doing well in it. <laughs> I can tell you this. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's very interesting. Shuttle Orbiter, I do have the... Reset timer, Thrust says. Oh, yes. Probably should. Yeah, definitely for this game. Robin Hood... Shuttle Orbiter. Okay. okay. So, blast into space. Press the button. Into space you go. <clears throat> so, you are picking up pieces of uh, the space shuttle. Looks pretty cool. I'll do it. You do it. It's if you know what it's about. It's very then. hard to. <laughs> yeah, do it. Learn so it on the fly. We are the white dot that's orbiting mm. the Earth. Um, and we have to get into the orbit of <clears throat> the red, where we pick up the pieces. So right now we're going a little faster, so we have to go in outer orbit and go a little bit slower, so we can match up with the red. We're almost there. Complex. Yep. Neat, though. And then we slow down to the... Oh, I think I went too far. Nope, nope. <clears throat> You almost... Oh, so close. I think I might. How do you do it? I think I need to... A little faster than it. Slow down a bit. Or do I go out? Yeah, I go out to go slower. Come on. I guess I'm not quite yet. Oh, that should be enough. 
Not quite. So close. Like you could reach out and touch it. There we Yay. go. Yay! <coughs> okay. Now I have to shoot it. No, I have to. Yeah, it's cool that designers Damn even it. attempted simulation style games on the 2600. Agreed. What are you doing? There we go. Almost there. I have to dock with it. Oh, line it perfectly. <gasps> oh, almost. There. One more up. It's very sensitive. God. Oh my god. There we go. Oh. Yay. And then you do a spacewalk. Oh my god. And you go and get a piece from here. And you bring back Tetris. <laughs> what? That is hilarious. And then you're done? And then you're done. And then you and do then the next you color. you go fly it to... <clears throat> yeah, and then you do the next color. Wow. Cool, RC70 says. Yeah, it's, it's ambitious. It is. I love it. Oh my god, which one is it? Uh, a green is the orbital depot, so I have to go to green. green. Oh, no, it is green. Okay. The outer one, right? Uh, the Not the light blue. One. Oh, it made it immediately. Oh my god. Okay. That was very lucky. Oh, that was lucky too. No, you probably want the green one. Right? This is like this is light green, and then there's another green. Is there? Yes. Oh god. On the outer. Okay. The outer one there. That's like yellowish. <clears throat> but obviously that is where I want to go. <laughs> oh. I have to fly through some space debris. Obviously, all the destroyed satellites. Even back then, they're like, yeah, there's lots of destroyed satellites. <laughs> okay. It's more yellow. Hmm. This looks like. Where do I put this? Oh, maybe I need to be higher. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, it's drifting away. How come I can't? Oh, maybe I do have to be in the center. There we go. That should be good. That was a refueling depot. Oh, okay. Well, I got more fuel, maybe. Put it straight in? No. <laughs> Doesn't like that. This is a problem when you don't have time to read pages and pages of uh, instructions. Hundreds of games. Yeah. <coughs> Run! Get in there! Get in there! Get to the wrong piece. So. It changed the piece color. Uh, it's shape. Because it looks like it would fit kind of sideways if I could turn it. Oh, uh, that's okay. Got, you, Rotate it somehow. So you yeah. guys all have to explore that game yes. on your own. Kind of a neat game, though. Very, very ambitious. <clears throat> As is the next game, Crystal Castle. The isometric uh, rollerball game from oh, the arcade. You uh, want to play that game. You love those games. Isometric rollerball games? You love Crystal Castles, don't you? Uh, it's okay. I edit my I edit on my C sixty four. It's pretty cool, and and they did their best, which is actually pretty amazing how they they were able to translate this. So you're a little Bentley bear. Bentley bear. And he collects all of the little dots. It's a Pac Man game, <laughs> but it's three quarters Pac Man. Pac -Man. It is isometric Pac Man. <laughs> so this one's a beginner level. Yay! Yay. This one's a little bit harder, because I die instantly. Instant. <clears throat> the graphics for the trees are quite good. Oh my goodness. And you can get on uh, elevators. Trees. Yeah, they're very scary. They've got wiggly arms. There's bees. They come. And you can get the honey pot, which I think makes you invincible for a bit. Or is that the wizard's hat, which doesn't exist yet on this, on this level? Well, let's get the honey pot. Or we can get attacked by bees. Bees! <clears throat> Collect the things! Collect all the dots! It's a dot-a-thon! Nope, 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 nope. A dot-a-thon. Let's get bees 
go over here. And they're very dumb enemies. Oh, it's just points. I think it's the wizard's hat that you have to get. That makes you invincible? Yeah. It's the ants are coming for you. The ants. The ants. I just said ants at first. Mm -hmm. uh, so they just go in a beeline for you. They're very dumb. But it makes it a little bit easier to do the things. Oh, they eat the dots too, I forgot. Ah, it's a rather fun port. The mazes are nothing like the arcade, but captures the gameplay very well. It does. And these guys, you can see them swallowing the dots. And there's a skeleton, which is really well done. Yeah. 8 bit skeleton. I mean, it's monochrome, but I mean, I don't know why they made it pink, but. <laughs> White would have been better? Maybe it looked better against the blue, the pink. Yeah, Less maybe. jarring? I don't know. Maybe. Or it's the same color as the score at the bottom? Oh, that shouldn't matter, but... No? Oh, can't go down there. Uh, oh, there's an elevator down. Oh, oh I missed it. This one's going to be dangerous. Oh, they're... Those guys don't go after you. They just eat the dots. So they're just oh, eating they're your just points. Dot eaters. Oh. But they do kill you. God damn it. Come on, elevator, quick. He's nowhere near them. Oh, if you jump over the trees, they pause briefly. Oh, there's oh. jumps. I forgot you can jump. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played this in such... Oh, there's the honeypot. Here's the wizard's hat. I'll show you this. Do, do, do. You can't hurt me. You can't hurt me for a very tiny brief period of time. Very short period of time. Yeah. Oh, a witch. It's a little bit fast. It does not make a beeline for you, just the early levels the enemies do. Yeah, amazing translation of the game from the arcade. I mean, the whole graphics are done with Playfield. They're yeah. a bit chunky, but they're very understandable. You would think this game would not be understandable when translated yeah. to the 2600. Yeah. But it looks, like, it looks good. If you've seen attempts of, like, Marble Madness, it's it's kind of as rough. Yeah. And a little bit harder to understand because it's more complex mazes. These ones are more open, like open fields. Sure, let's get that the bees up there got stuck. Ugh. Ugh, they have nothing to eat. Now they want to get after me. Okay, there we go. Get your honey. Honey, honey for honey, a honey. thousand. And he's eating all that on that side. <coughs> the, the hat, hat is, is the only way you can defeat oh, the witch. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, no witch. Can't demonstrate that on this level. Oh, so many enemies. Uh, good flicker management in this. Uh, when they're by themselves, they don't flicker. Actually, it's not great flicker management. <laughs> You're changing the ones your at the on top... That. Well, no. Yeah, why? <laughs> Just when they're on the same line. Yeah, but they don't need to flicker, though. Do you plan to watch the new Winnie the Pooh horror movie? <laughs> what? I thought that was fake. It's a real thing. Okay. Uh, great <laughs> I doubt it. translation of the game. Nice. Uh, this is by Atari. Uh, I'll read that in a second. So we have to keep moving. Next one's Taz. A uh, pretty simplistic game for this era. Ooh. It says 1983, but that's a lie. Ooh, <clears throat> there's food in this game. I'm there suddenly is. hungry. Eat all the... F Very suggestible. <laughs> Eat all the food, avoid all the dynamite. There you go. Um, so the last one, Crystal Castles, April 1984 by Atari, CX 261110, uh, 110, uh, by Peter C. Naide, programmer, Robert Vieira Sound, Michael Kosaka oh. Graphics, Taz, April 1984 by Atari, CX 2699 by Jerome Domeret and Steve Wyota, also known as Taz uh, with two Z's and Asterix. This was reskinned yeah. for the European market yeah. as asterisk. Asterisk? 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 Yeah, as in asterisk and obelisk. As in the um, yeah. oh, geez. comic strip. Because yeah. we did play obelisk, which was actually a very good game. I played that with uh, Darcy. 
Very complex. This is not a complex game. No, very simple. Uh, very good graphics, though. Yeah. Like, really nice detailed graphics yeah. with great color. Love the hamburgers. I'm getting hungry. It seems like an Activision game, actually. Just the way it plays. Is it just these two sprites, though? Like, just the burgers no, and the... No, it changes as the... Uh, Does it? As you go up levels? As, as, as time goes on. Then there's a, um, damn it, yeah. a bonus level, too. RC70 says, I played this a ton for, for some reason. Me too. I don't really like it now. <laughs> it's, it's a very simplistic game. Oh, my game. God. Yeah, it is very simplistic. That, I'm doing terrible. I, I don't know why, because this is a very simple game. Uh, it's very oh sensitive. God. The up and down is very, very sensitive. Yeah, you have to get used to the yeah. way it plays. Yeah. And to make yourself the safe. Controls. Yeah. Mean, it's not timed. So no. you don't really need to rush, and no. I think that's the problem. I'm rushing. Well, you want to get as many points as possible, I mean. But there's no timer. So. No. You just take your time and get one at a time if you really wanted to. Yep. That's where I'm failing, because I was rushing. Yeah, the graphics are great. Sound is fine. <laughs> it's just sound. Just bloop. But doesn't it seem like an Activision game? Yeah. Like, yeah, it I don't does. know why, just this, the great graphics and... Um, graphics are great, but it's it, this the background screen's a little basic. Yeah. There's no sunset. No. <laughs> no. It's not that, just lines, not that Beam but... Rider had a sunset. No, true, true. Was Beam Rider Activision? Yeah. It's a great game. Oh my god, yeah. It's one of my favorites, I think. It's this game's a bit shallow. Oh, ooh, beer. Ooh, yeah. for upgrading. Root beer. <laughs> root beer, right? Kids game. Yeah. It's like Tapper we're gonna play. It's gonna be root beer. I don't know, is it root beer in Tapper? How can it be root beer? Who's going to oh, a bar and I drinking? I think it beer? is. I think it is because there's Mountain Dew. Aren't there in kegs? It. Isn't oh. he pulling from kegs or something? Kegs of root beer. <laughs> yeah. Oh no 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 no. Yeah, you need a really good joystick for this game. Isn't there a version specifically called Root Beer Tapper? Maybe, maybe. Uh, in the arcade. Oh, really? I think it's just Tapper on the 2600. I think there's both in the arcade. Really? Uh, Tapper and Root, Root beer. beer Tapper. Well, obviously some people were offended by the fact that kids were playing a game Ice involving... Cream. Ooh, yum. Ice cream cone, yeah. specifically. Yeah, they're like, oh, can I have beer? Can I have cigarettes for kids? Well, that's fair enough. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, extra life. I mean, it's not a bad game. I do, I do like this game. It's just really simple. It does get a bit crazy later. Which we won't see, because the five-minute timer has gone up. The devs really should have had the Taz tornado sound. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and like make the sound go when you move, or because you don't want it all the time. No flicker, hidden H move lines, yes. lane based structure. Activision does like that. Yeah, it just seems like what? Oh, <laughs> that was in the multi -card. Next <laughs> one is Frontline. Frontline, which is uh, an ambitious game. Um. Made by Coleco, uh, April 84, 2665 by Ed Temple. Also known as Commando, but not that Commando. <laughs> okay, shoot the things. Not moving. Oh, there we go. Proceed forward and shoot the guys. You have diagonal shots as well. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's not bad. Graphics are uh, two-line kernel, so it's a little... Oh. No, don't touch them. No, I thought They'll I... They'll stick you with a knife with their bayonet or whatever they have. Um, I think you can get into tanks in this game. Do they if shoot you back? Make it. Yes, they do. So avoid their bullets. Uh, does Canada have an alcohol age restriction? Yes. Uh, we have two ages. <laughs> 
it's province by province. It so is. We, we don't have a national age. Um, I'll, oh. It's 19 is our oldest age, and is 18 it? is our youngest age. What did is you it? start over? I don't think. Did I? Yes, Completely? you did. I died. Or is oh, it just didn't. one life? Maybe is it didn't. just one life? No, there's a couple. Um, in BC, it's 19. Yeah. In Alberta, it's 18. Ugh. I'm guessing Saskatchewan, 18 as well. I don't know. It's different. It's okay. different everywhere. What is it in Ontario? Ontario's 19. 19. Quebec is 18, which right. is why everyone in Ottawa go, starts border. going to bars in Quebec in when they're 18. Starts speaking French all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> when, yeah they exactly. want their, when they want their beer. Uh, un beer, si vous <laughs> plaît. <laughs> The, uh, yes, it is the primary primary motivator for Ontarians to learn French. <laughs> um, uh, sh uh, also to go uh, to the Dépanneur, because you can buy beer and wine in... Sank shots, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, in, in Quebec, you can buy beer and wine at convenience stores, which most of the rest of the country you can't. No. They very recently started selling beer and wine in some grocery stores. Yeah. But... Um, but it's very in restricted. I think Americans are always quite surprised by the how restricted alcohol sales are in Canada. Yeah, they're like, aren't you guys really liberal about everything? Yeah, it's, it's like, like well, know. unless not, you're buying booze. <laughs> yeah, not about our, our sinful... 19 in Ontario, that's how I got started. <laughs> yeah. Not about our sinful ways. We're yeah. restrictive about those. Which, uh, 21 always seems so high. So high. So high to me. Like, what... Like I, I heard about that. Why they did that? Well, it's also national, right? Like it's it's twenty one everywhere in the states. It is, and it was like a, a you can get in a tank, which is cool. Oh wow! Which is super super cool. That is cool. Because a lot of games in this era in the arcade had tank uh, tank parts to them. What? Oh come on! And you die? Come on! Move it! Move it! You should be kicked out of the tank. Le beer lay shots. <laughs> Le beer, please. <laughs> and, and it only takes one shot to kill a tank. So what is the point of getting into tank then? It's faster. Oh, you can go through the, the forest fast, that's why. Oh my god. But it should give you like an extra life, because in other games... I um, can't remember the names right now. Like... Uh, you can, um, you get kicked out of the tank and then you have your extra life. Oh, it's way faster. So you get a little bit of protection. <laughs> yeah, but in this, you just they die instantly. Oh. Do you? Oh. I don't need another tank. Oh, neat. This is very cool. This is pretty cool. It's, it's, it's a bit sparse. Oh, no, I think it's pretty neat. I'm quite impressed with it. Yeah. Cool game. Agreed. Yeah, it's got bridges. It's got varied terrain. But look, I'm like running into nothing and like nothing. Like so seldom. Because you're moving fast now. I guess, but that should give me some enemies. Right now I'm just dodging playfield. Oh, oh, finally. I'm get rid of you first. Oh, the shot's very slow. Pull your shot? Nope. Maybe you have to hit him from the side? Oh, uh, maybe. Far as after that can go. Oh, he's very slow with shots. I don't seem to actually be oh, hitting these him. guys are worse than the. No, it doesn't register. I have to shoot his turret. Oh, that did. That made a sound. You, I think you have to. You can't hit his gun. Maybe I have to hit his bullets. Sorry, I really want to try and kill this boss. If I why hit, we're gonna be here till five. <laughs> if I played his bullets, I should shoot him straight on. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. So how is everyone doing out there? How how have your last two weeks been since we've been off the air? Hopefully you've had been a crying this summer. Crying. crying every day we've been off the air for sure. <laughs> Maybe I have to hold oh I bet there's a, a grenade. Oh! Oh you Oh I have to get out and Hold down for the grenade. Oh, there we go. I had to get out of the tank. Oh, look at this. Interstitial. Very cool. 
Oh, you missed the interstitial. I did, but that's okay. We weren't looking. I was checking the chat there for a second. There we go. Okay. Very Let's cool. keep that game going. Count number three. Okay. <laughs> I missed out. Sorry. <laughs> uh, next one is Espiel. Esp what? Or Espiel in, uh, in Spain. Espiel. Espiel. Uh, April 1984 by Tiger Vision 7012 mm. made by who knows uh -huh. this by Tiger Vision is obviously a, a big rip off of um, Xevious press the button go 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 nope not couch complete oh my it is an ambitious shooter so it's pretty much Xevious um, so you have to be have your reticle oh over over top of that uh, ground base thing <laughs> to bomb them. <laughs> to bomb the yep. ground? It's got full screen play field scrolling, which is really good. Yeah, you have to bomb that thing. I did oh. already. Oh, oh did you I get did, it? I got, oh, it. got it. Don't oh, okay. say I missed. <laughs> there, go like that. Oh, come on. Oh, oh so hard. Massive flicker. Massive, unnecessary flicker in this game. I don't know game. if it's unnecessary. There's no flicker handling whatsoever. It's just everything flickers. Well, everything transparent is what you're shooting. Yeah, but there's no need for it to flicker. It, it... Oh, made it to the end, I guess. Shoot and bomb the things! Not full screen. Oh, only playfield one and two. Uh, really? No oh, playfield God. zero. Terrible. Well, I guess it misses the left. I mean, that's that's easier to handle, that's for sure. Not full. But fairly full. And it is reflected. Yeah. But still good effect. And we have not seen a shooter, shooter like this where it does uh, playfield vertical scrolling with lots of playfield. Um, so you just take this and like oh, right make it a million shots. times better and then you have CD dash W <laughs> CD dash W's uh, Xevious. Nice. Ah. But a very uh, ambitious early version. <laughs> I followed along on my Commander X scene emulator and it worked all except for Pokes. Pokes. What were what are they talking about? I don't know. I, oh, I, mean, I see. For the two weeks off, I substituted ZPH with old C64 programming videos from VHS. Oh. I actually learned quite a bit. X16 looks so cool. And then RC70 says, yeah, I followed along on my Commander X16 emulator and it all worked except for the Pokes. Very That's nice. Awesome. Yeah, the pokes would be completely yeah. different because it's a different machine. Um, I think David Murray put out a video recently, or yeah. a short, about his Commander X-16 um, system. And it is coming along very slowly. Oh, you just make it to that dead, that line. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Very good that? use of reflected. No, I was reading or something. Uh, nice very patterns. Nice yeah. It's interesting it's how they shooter. make the ships and the things that you're hitting like almost translucent. Uh, it's an interesting way of kind of, I guess, having a lot of stuff on the screen, but... They don't need to do that. None nope. of them... Cr hardly any of them cross each other. That's true. Um, they just wanted to make it easy on themselves, I guess. Well, so they, didn't have to they all look the same then. They, they don't have them flashing in and out of existence. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful. Um... It's probably just they didn't have time because they have so much going on on the screen uh, with the play field that they just went, okay, we're going to do it at uh, yeah. 30 hertz. I don't even know if it's 30. It might have helped if they brightened the enemies and darkened the background. Yeah. Yes, that would help a lot. RC70 says at the end of his latest, he it's said it's close to being manufactured. Oh, X16. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's very cool. I wish I had time to program for that yeah because it looks like a super cool machine um, really nice uh, like the ultimate 8-bit machine is what yeah. his goal was and it's very Commodore 64-ish in the way it 
seems to operate. Yeah. But if enough software gets made for it, enough uh, devs come on board, yeah. it, it'd be a fun one to buy and, yeah. and have. I mean, he puts out the emulator for free, so you can always play it. Yeah. RC70 <laughs> says, I thought it was dying off. The forms are kind of dead. Mm. Oh, really? Oh, no. Well, the machine's been in the process for a long time, but yeah. uh, still having the emulator and no development, probably nobody has confidence because it's been... James Bond, 007. This is a, a hard but kind of cool game. I'll have to play it because okay. it's, it's a little bit crazy. Okay, so you're James Bond, and you have to jump over things and dodge bullets. And you have to shoot diamonds in the sky. Each level you have to shoot X number of diamonds. Diamonds? Yeah. Jump over the fire pits. The graphics fire are pits. really good. Interesting. There's two diamonds. I think you have to do... And it uh, goes through like four different movies of his. Oh, really? Like diamonds diamonds are, forever. are forever. And then Moonraker, I think, is the next one. Oh, and then cool. Some, and then some underwater one. Oh, I died. You died? But I have three diamonds now, so let's see. There's a lot of dodging bullets in yeah, this game. Yeah, it looks like, like a dodgy game. Tons of dodging bullets. So I'm almost... <gasps> oh! Damn it. A few major contributors to the hardware dropped out, I think, but apparently oh, things are no. happening behind the scenes. Or maybe on Facebook, but I'll never know. Oh, <laughs> oh somebody's not on Facebook. Refusal. <laughs> Moon Patrolish, yeah. Uh, yeah, this level is is a very <laughs> Moon Patrolish. It, it does change quite a bit after this level. Anyone else take any little last minute summer vacations? Any trips? Any trips? I know it's pretty common for people on Labor Day weekend to go away yeah. or just take a take a break before you know school starts up with kids and work kind of starts ramping back up. Um, oh, they're on the oh, next level. Water. You have to avoid. Oh, uh, which is the one where he's in the water? Is this Moon Mountain Raker? Where he has the awesome ah. oh, car car I submarine. Never saw any of them. I don't know. I've seen them, but they all blend seen together. Seen like two or three. Some very modern ones, and then like one of the older ones. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I. My dad was a fan, but I don't. They're so silly. They are. Silly. They got a bit serious, like in the past. 10 years, and I was like, okay, now I'll watch them. Okay, press button. Press button. Oh, oh. Yeah. Russ says, I have five weeks vacation, July, August. I think that's enough. That's <laughs> five pretty... weeks is very good. Oh, you can't shoot any of these things. Uh, you can't shoot the helicopter. You can, you have to shoot the diamonds. You have to get four or five or six. Of them. Um, so this is James Bond, May 84 by Parker Brothers, a PB5110, Joe Gotcher, Dan Kurz... Krzyzewski, uh, Louis Marble, and Kathy Vaughn. And the estate of James Bond. <laughs> Who will never, ever, ever give up the rights. The Broccoli. The Broccoli, Broccoli family. People. Broccoli family. Is that... It's such an unusual name, that's why I remember it. I think it's it. great. I'd love to be a Broccoli. <laughs> love Broccoli. Tanya Broccoli. Tanya, Tanya Broccoli, yeah. <laughs> Is that your new name? You can change it Why to Broccoli. Ah! Nobody's stopping you. But would you take Broccoli as a last name? Nope, didn't take yours. <laughs> Won't take Broccoli. But. Oh, didn't, you can't I would keep take going. Yours. You would take Rather mine? Rather than you take mine. My maiden name? Yeah. Yeah. You I know you like my you maiden name. No, I won't. But it's super cool. <laughs> I do have a super cool name. Yeah. Uh, RC70 says, I have the Commander X16 WAS WASD keyboard oh, with the Petsky characters on the keys. It's fun to use with the emulator without needing a reference card for the shapes. Well, that's cool. Is it an overlay or you buy a keyboard? Um, is it a USB keyboard? Oh, broccoli. <laughs> Oh, compromise. Tanya O'Broccoli. Oh, broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds. We won't make it to the second level, but... Um, it's actually a, not a bad game. It's super hard, though, this game. Really, really hard. Especially uh, the second level. 
third level, I, I cheated and played on the emulator and uh, tried to get to the last level. And, oh, I did finish the game on the emulator. It's really hard. I just rewind it every time I died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there That's you go. That's why emulators are good. Yeah, so you can see uh, later levels. Okay, next one's River Patrol. It's terrible. <laughs> it's really, truly terrible. River Patrol? Yes. This it's... version, you mean? This version. I don't know. I haven't played any is other River version. Patrol... An arcade game, I think. Isn't it just like... I'm thinking of something else, I guess. Oh, no. River... It's, uh, there's another game like this where you're... River Raid? River Raid, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, rescue the the guys who are drowning. Uh, avoid everything else. No, no. What are I the guys drowning? I think he's gone. Oh my god. It's really it's hard horrible. to steer. It's so hard to steer. You can't, it's so you slow. Can't, you can't, like... It's horrible. It's USB, but... Uh, Flash with firmware to support PS2. Okay. They sell it. It has the X16 logo on it, too. Well, that's smart to be able to sell the keyboard early, because once you've got the specs done for that, you don't need to change it. Horrible. <laughs> Isn't the steering oh the worst? Oh, my God. It's so Barely slow. moved. Oh. oh, my God. What am I supposed to do here? Avoid it. Go around to the right if kind you want. Kind of. Like, and then you hit things. <laughs> oh, it's awful. You float backwards. Not even smooth scrolling. No. Oh, my it's God. It's like, what, four pixels? Like, how do you... How do you... How am I supposed to avoid him? Oh, he's moving. Oh, no, he's gunning for you. You just die. You, you can die. Oh, you made it. Oh. You, but, like, you can't even bounce off the... Oh, my God, that's a terrible <laughs> game. Games Video like... Video game or torture. It's torture. It's really Ooh, bad. Ooh, it's rough. Like, if the if the steering was just Decent? a little bit better, it wouldn't be... Steering just needs to be more sensitive, but you can't avoid things. You have to slowly move over if, oh, if you're in the way of painful. it. Painful. And the music? Torture for the ears. Oh, alligator. And you can't hit anything. Nothing. Nothing. You, you would think, oh, maybe you can bounce. You can avoid it. Good. It's really hard. And every time something comes on the screen, you're like, uh... Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Do I start over? No? Nope. Maybe? I think I start over. <laughs> oh, was... oh, somebody's Twitter. following me on Twitter. Uh, Just the Twitter. I thought it was the timer. It's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> it's I still got two more minutes to play. Uh, <laughs> when there's a bad game, five minutes seems it's, it's, like is a lifetime. Ever. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, oh, oh you don't oh, die. Oh, and then you die. So you don't die in Oh, my goodness. Is this one called Marker Wars? I <laughs> uh, didn't. Marker Wars. Oh, it looks like a, a marker. It does look like a marker. Yeah, the graphics are... Pretty mm, rough. Mm, pretty rough. Alligator's I do like okay. the alligator. And the whirlpool's really good. Mm. But the thing you have to stare at the whole time is <coughs> is not Excuse super me. great. Oh, oh. Like, really? Oh, my God. I've I don't know how you avoided that. Avoid it. Come here, dude. Come on board the fail boat. Oh. <laughs> Come on board. Oh, sorry. You're too far over. I cannot maneuver my boat. <laughs> Too far away. Sorry, oh, you're drowning. It's the bonus level. Oh, no. It's over. <clears throat> Is there an end? I still haven't made it past much past that. No. Is there something up here that... It is random what you run into. Though. Is it? Because, look, there's so many guys this time. It's the boats. The boats kill you. The logs are fine. The alligators are fine. Oh, oh see. You, there's, yeah. It's almost done. Can you switch off the music, says oh, the rest? Ah, oh, 46 maybe. seconds. We can skip forward. Never find out. <laughs> Next one is good. A good game. Yay. What game? Pango. Oh, Pango. So An cute. Actually, pretty decent version of Pango for the 2600. Okay, go for it. Yay. I, I, I was playing this yesterday to make sure I knew how to play all these games. Um, 
The only oh, you diff- can't. You can't well, destroy it. Yeah, that's one of the uh, the ice blocks. But normally, you can destroy that. No, no, no. Yeah, you can. Can't destroy it. Oh, it's the blo- Oh, I get it. Yep. And when you hit the outside, the whole outside vibrates on this version. Ah, not just one more. Not just one. So Neato. it's kind of a little easier that way. But everything's here. Like everything. It's it's quite a decent version of it for 2600. Uh, June 84 by Atari CX 2690 uh, by Mark A. Mike Mark R. Han programmer. Andrew Fuke, sound, Jeff Guzman, sound, and Courtney Graner, doing unknown. <clears throat> Ooh, you have a chance to do them. Do them, do them, do them, do them. And they don't run away in this version. Oh, they don't? No. There you go, one more. Nice, and in the center. <clears throat> oh, it doesn't... Oh, does it forge you in the other version? No, you still have to finish the game. Good job. Yay! See, it's not bad. It's pretty good. For I think it's pretty good. It's a simple enough game that you can you can keep the graphics relatively. Yeah, it's just blocks. Um, the blocks slide nicely. Ah, ah. Remember the stunning. You can stun. Uh, uh, oh, you caught him. Uh. I don't think it shows you where they're going to hatch from, though. I didn't oh, notice wrong. that. No, it doesn't in no, this one. No, it's too complex. It even has that delay before the end of this round. Yeah, I like, like that. Like that, that five second, like, what's going on? I've killed them all. Oh, it does show them. It is, bl it is blinking. Okay, good. It doesn't show you killing them when, it, when you kill a blinking one, though. And it never blinks again. So you really have to memorize at the beginning of the level. Oh. One. Uh, Nostalgic said, this is a rather good port too. Atari was really on their game in 84. Hell yeah. What did they do? Taz was good. Crystal Castles was good. Millipede was good. Uh, Pengo is good. And the only other one, like Oscar's Trash Race, which is by Atari, was it's fine. It's a kid's game. I'm not going to say it's great. Oh, you got it before you did. I, yeah. And the graphics are good in this. Like, the animation's oh, great. Very cute. Uh, I believe this one is not inexpensive, so I don't have this this game on cartridge, so I, I don't... I think it's fairly rare. Rare-ish. Rare enough I didn't run across it in my collecting spree in the 90s. There you go. Squish. Squish. Animation when they explode, it's great. Uh, one. Good music too. Like it's on, it's on tune. There you go, squish him. Squish him. And they don't really get much faster though. I mean this could be on beginner level. Oh, good chance of getting three. Oh, uh, or not, or zero. Uh, there. Yay. Use the sides. Show off the sides. Oh, I always forget the sides. Do it. Do it. Do it on that last one. Show off the sides before we have to switch. There you go. Yay. Oh. And <laughs> going on that collecting spree in the 90s was a very smart move. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, hey, I just Metalunar. went to all the flea markets, all the Life. secondhand stores. And uh, just bought, bought anything to do with Atari that I did not have. Like, absolutely anything I could find. Oh, my God. And it was uh, it was great. Everything was like a dollar. So I was like, meh, just buy it. It's so inexpensive. Come on. Oh, well. Get one of them. Got so many joysticks and peripherals. Oh, I knew it. I knew that guy was going to... First Princess Bubblegum and now Gunter. What? <laughs> See, they're both on the outside. It vibrates the whole outside, which is weird that it didn't need to vibrate the whole outside. I guess to do the ref the mirrored play field. 
Oh, we haven't seen much of the kitty. Oh, he's here. Look how big uh, people are asking before the show if he's got if he got bigger. He got fluffier. <laughs> he got much fluffier. Oh, he does want to be held right now. He's got the biggest floof tail. Yeah. He's like a big black Canadian squirrel. <laughs> yes. You a squirrel? Squish. Are you a squirrel? I'm a squirrel. Oh, yeah. he's so cute. Yeah, he is. Um, next one is uh, Rock and Rope. Uh, very ambitious. Yeah, I know. Um, you hate game this. Game as well. I know you hate it. Translated this. fairly well. Hi. Yeah. He's like, let me go. The I graphics. Oh, he's cuddling with his dad. <laughs> oh, he's like, mommy, pick <laughs> me up. I I should I should play this. It's okay. Not easy rock to and understand. Rope? Yep. Rock and Rope. By Coleco. Yep. Um, so you have to get to the bird. At the created top. by Ed English. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you have oh, rope. God. Damn it. Yep. You're rocking and you're roping. You're rocking and you're roping. <laughs> so you can go up ladders. Yes. Yeah, so you, you can, can go. Across? You can't go oh. up the ladders, actually. You can't. Is no. that a down? You can't go down the ladders either. <laughs> Only they oh, can. Gosh. Oh gosh. Oh You can stun those oh. guys with your. Flash your light? light. Wow. It's a really strange, strange game. Hi, hi, Black Kitty. You can fall down and you can collect those things, those little flashing things. Oh. And that will uh, kill those enemies. That's the only thing. Oh my god. You can stun them with your flashlight. And you have to make it up to that bird, which is pretty good graphics for okay. the bird. Okay. Seems a challenging game. Oh, god damn. You have to press Splat. up to get on the rope. Bionic Commando. Yes, Bionic Commando before Bionic Commando. So you can drop if you don't go too high. And get that guy. Oh, the, the green thing makes you... Uh, See, he gets you if he touches yes, your line, I too. keep forgetting that. It's pretty crazy. It does not look easy. Um... Like when I was playing game. it on the emulator, it was, I was doing okay. This time I'm not for some reason, because I'm not I'm not paying attention to the the guys there. Oh, I'm still. Oh God. Okay. It is actually not that hard. You just have to pay. It's just timing. Up, 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 up. Another guy. Oh god, 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 go, 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 go. Stun you. Gotta get Oh no! Oh, right to the bottom. <laughs> oh no. I'll let so you that's play. That's a rough game. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be doing much better than you did. <laughs> did you read out the info? At English? Yeah. How do you jump? Up and press the button to do the rope. And then you press up and then you press over. Yeah. No, it's too high. You have to be just... Oh, really? Just oh, a little... Very precise. Yeah, just on the edge. Don't go too far. Or else you fall. Like in Minor 2049-er. There? <laughs> there, yeah. Why do they even tease you with ladders? The enemies don't even use them. I don't... Yeah, they, they are using them. There he goes down the ladder. You got him. Nice. And he can destroy your rope. Oh, just... Just about... There you go. Up. Oh. oh, yeah, very, very sensitive. It it does look pretty cool. They did a good translation of the the colors of the different levels of the dirt and the grass. Um, it, uh, very ambitious game. Yeah, I they're think trying they, to do a lot. With I think the, they the succeeded. Um, when we get to uh, Mr. Dew's castle, Ugh. that's when I think it's too ambitious. <laughs> Um, looks like the ne enemies never flicker. Oh! You might be right. They may be, like, not flicker handling. Really? But they may be, like... Like, they keep track of who's on what level, and they don't put two monsters on the same level. Which, you don't really need them. There's plenty of monsters to go around. So now that guy went up. So now that guy can go up. Now that guy can go up if he wants. And he does. There you go. Now that guy can go down. Like I can. Oh, there you go. Get him. Get him. Yeah, really smart monster handling. Uh oh. 
Oh, he didn't touch it. Shocking. Flashlight. There you go. It's like, ah, the light, the light. Oh, my eyes. Uh oh, get that dot. Got to show getting up to the bird. Oh, oh no. I don't think that's gonna happen. Why is it when it, sometimes when I practice, I do so well? Get it, get that dot. Get the dot. There you go. You can do it. So. Oh, oh, he just got me. So to get the bird, you'd have to go up the Again? ladder and fall a bit and then go up to the right oh side. No. <clears throat> no. Nope. Next one is <sighs> a masterpiece. <laughs> is it? Um, in terms of translation. Okay. For what they had to do. It's Gyrus. Ooh, you One like Gyrus. One of my Gyrus. favorite games yes. in arcade. Hey, Floofers. The music they did I for this these is kitties so good. I might be hungry. I don't know if it's time to feed them yet. No, it's very far from feeding time. Is it? Treat time? No? Oh, treat time. Yeah, if anyone feels like music treating some cats. Loud enough. Listen to the music in this. Yes! I'm going to start over. Pause it. Let's watch the kitties first. Oh, okay, we haven't got a full kitties. What was that? Meow. What was that? Meow. It's kitty time. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> He's like, now. <laughs> now. Thank you, RC70. Thank you. One for you. I don't even know if you hit it, but no, you deserve didn't. it. No, Look, he hit it while he was eating. I know. <laughs> it's like he's queuing up the next one. <laughs> okay, there you go. The gray cat's getting smart and taken away. Tail hugs are the best. Yeah. Oh, so many during oh. feeding are poofy. Oh, they do. They go rap, rap. A little harder. A little harder, Atari. Smack it a little harder. You can do it. Good Yay. kitty. Good kitty. No, not no. black cats. <laughs> he wants to eat everyone's everyone's bell treats. They're all for me, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a good kitty. <laughs> yeah. Atari runs away with his because he's like, this cat, he's going to take my treat. <laughs> I earned this. Oh, my, oh my God. God. He's a monster. He's not even chewing them. He's going to... Gray cat, come on, Atari. Oh, bring it. Atari, hit the bell. Oh, pathetic. No, try again. Here. Maybe the cords are getting you right there. You go. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you can hit it for him. Good Yay. kitty. Two bells equals two trees. <laughs> he's like, bing, a... bing. He's going to be doing ding, them with ding, each ding, pause. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> good kitty. <laughs> he's so good. <laughs> so good at it. <laughs> Service, please. <laughs> ding, 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 yeah. ding, 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 <laughs> Oh, my God. He's a monster. He is a treat monster. <laughs> oh. There, oh, there's one for you. There you go. Good job. There's one for you. Atari runs away. He's like, this is my treat. I'm not letting the black cat. Stretch his toes out. So far, could manage to lean a little harder. Oh. Couple more? Yeah. He needs treats. Oh, good job. Good job, Atari. <laughs> one for you. And like 25 for you. <laughs> 25. Yeah, it's a bit imbalanced. It is. That's okay. But if he wanted treats, more treats, he knows what to do. That's He's very able to do it. <laughs> He's so good at hitting that bell there. He is. Learned young. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Wound up on that one. How many more? Oh, you have so many. Oh, that's okay. We're almost done. That okay. black cat, he's we'll slowing eat down. most of them. He is. <laughs> <laughs> adorable, adorable. Oh, yeah, he's pretty cute. Are you cute? Oh, you're a fluffy squirrel-tailed cat. Yeah. Um. Oh, my goodness. Atari? No, Atari was definitely a, a full-grown cat. He was. Like, it was on the show. When we showed it the first time. I think so. Uh, Shortly after we did it privately. We did it like twice with him. He got it right away. Pixel never picked it up. 
He's way silkier looking than when he was smaller. Yeah, he's very Look at that. silky. Oh yeah, okay. I can see the shine in the camera. Yeah. Oh, it's Good so. Good kitties. The shine is crazy Good in the camera. Kitty cats. Look at it. Here. Look at the shine That's move. I know. It's like whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> he he is soft as he's he very looks. silky. Okay, back yeah. to this amazing. Listen to music. Can you restart it. I died. Ah. Yeah. Like a Winamp plug-in. <laughs> this is on my, the top of my 7800 want list. Especially uh, using the uh, Dragonfly cart. Oh yeah. Um, because in the arcade, uh, this uses, I think, five, four voice um, sound chips. <laughs> it has a huge amount of audio in nice. the arcade. And the Dragonfly has a bunch of sound cards. You can put a dual pokey in it. Nice. Um, it has, an, has two sound chips in it. Frost 26. Lots of cat hair all around now. Um, quite a bit. To be honest, I don't find Sprite too sheddy. Double shot, double shot, double Atari shot. Atari is the more sheddy. He's there got a go. thicker kind of, even though it's short, he's got a thick coat. So he's always been more the contributor for the cat hair. Yeah. The translation of this is really good. Like the way they fly around, I think you kind of have to know the arcade a bit to understand what the hell you're looking at. But they're flying in a circle and getting smaller and bigger. Yeah. But once you know what you're looking at, it's like, okay, yeah, it, it translated well. The music is probably music the is best, fantastic. The best music besides Pitfall 2. Because there's only two voices. What's this called? This is... This is Gyrus. Gyrus. Can you read out who made this? Yes. And I think Gyrus. This is astounding on the 7800. From the Parker Brothers by the Joe Gosher. Gotcher? Gotcher. The Parker Brothers. The Parker Brothers. <laughs> Those two guys keep making those games. <laughs> yeah. Those Parkers, up to no good. Getting all those licenses. <laughs> should say the Parker Bros. Parker Bros. One of the best shooters on the 2600. It's a lot easier than the arcade, though. Ooh. And there's a planet you fly to, you go in a circle, doo -doo 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 -doo. and you go through the uh, solar system planet by planet. Oh, really? Yeah. Doesn't have the words on the screen, though. And this is the bonus level. Like, amazing. Wow. I love the flickery stars. This is like, okay, we don't have Galaga for the 2600, but we have Gyrus. And there's, like, bonus waves of shooting. Shoot em ups. Oh, oh my god, I go I played in the arcade every time. Uh, but it's the last game I play because in the arcade you have to pound the button the whole time you play it. So it just wrecks your wrist. Hmm. <laughs> Parker Brothers like the Batman. Yeah. The Parker Brothers. The I'm the Parker Brothers. Brothers. Oh, my voice got so low when I first got, got sick. sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It was awesome. <laughs> Loved it. It's like, ugh. <laughs> I'm back. You gotta do the Witcher voice. But I, it's not as low anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want it permanently that low. That that range is a, was a bit low. It would be rough on the vocal cords. Like, I have a pretty low voice to begin with, but... Um, yeah. That was too low. <laughs> I've never seen this on the 2600 before. I'm really impressed. It's nostalgic. It is oh pretty good. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. Is this a common game the or no? Best. Is a common? Uh, I wouldn't say common. I wouldn't say uncommon. I mean, yeah. I have it, so it's not, not that uncommon. I have very few rare games. So I think it's like, it's not common, but uncommon would be the next one up. 
So I don't think it would be too expensive to buy if you wanted it. He found it, yep. <clears throat> read that line. Yeah, RC70 says, All the retro stores that sell 2600 games in my area don't have anything uncommon anymore. It's a bummer. It was always fun to just grab something I knew nothing about for $2. eBay yeah. stuff is too pricey. Yeah. It's all stacks of combat cards now. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Just combat. Definitely Takata by Bach. Yep. I've only oh, seen yeah. it once in a store and it was a loose cart. Oh, Saturn. Made it to the second planet. Nice. Very nice. So that was Gyrus. Oh my god, so good. Okay, I'm gonna put that check mark beside that, of course. And then another very ambitious game is up next. Star Wars, the arcade game, has all the levels. Ooh. Another Parker Brothers game. It's gonna work. Yeah, I want Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, and as all the music, hopefully I don't get tagged for this. This one's much louder. So, shoot all the bad guys, shoot the ah. bullets, shoot the 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 bullets! Nope. What am I shooting? No, it's, it's inverted. Those bullets. Hate that. <laughs> Hate inverted? Oh gosh, why? Oh, left and right isn't. Well, you're up, missing every down. bullet. I know, up and down are inverted. <laughs> Hate Every that. flight game is. Every oh, flight. I hate them. I'm going to put a check mark for some Tango, too. That's really good. What am I doing? I don't understand. Oh, shoot the tops of those things. Shoot the bullets. Avoid the bullets. Oh, gosh. Why? Tops of the towers. Yeah, but then I have to do the opposite of what I think is, makes sense. No. I don't like it. I'm falling behind. Uh, I'm going to put a check mark for that hero as well. So good. Can you uninvert the controls of the difficulty switch? Maybe. Hmm. Does anybody know that offhand? Um, I'm going to read this out first. Star Wars the Arcade Game, June 84, Parker Brothers, PB5540, Wilfred Aguilar, uh, Michael Becker, Neil McKenzie, Bob Smith, Brad Stewart. Star Wars, Arcade, 2600. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, yeah, you did it. Yay, you shot the porthole or whatever it is. Invert. Nope. It's too late now. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> Just horrible when you first start and you're like, ah, this oh, isn't going the direction I thought it was supposed to go. Jedi. <laughs> you cannot invert the controls. That's it. Like most things, once you get used to it. The coolest store around here is a box 5200 in really good condition right now. $400, though. That seems like a lot for a box 5200. I think you could get that for cheaper at PRGE. There's a lot of 5200s, and they're not really sought after. Like, I have... Like two fifty two hundreds in the box. Dead. Well, you did a full run. Oh, it was fun. Yeah, really good translation of the game. Like it's playable. You can tell what's going on. The star field moves. Um, the enemies. The controls are a bit. They're laggy stiff too, or something. And laggy, yeah. yeah. And they're, they're, they take some getting used to. It's because they stop <coughs> when you fire your bullet. They do. Which is like, why? why? Why would they stop when you fire your bullet? I think that's the only issue with this game. Hey, hey! Oh my god. This is particularly impressive, this level. Oh, it's really neat. Like, it feels very 3D. Very well done. Oh, gonna hit that. Oh. Ah, bullets. Ah, ah, my shield. Nostalgic. Oh, you might have said this already. I'm yeah. somewhat surprised that Atari didn't port this themselves considering they made the arcade game. Yeah, that is weird. That they didn't get, uh, well, they may have not got the license for the home 
Maybe. How Arkham can they not get the license from themselves? Yeah. Well, they had to get the license for Star Wars from Star Wars. True. And that license probably only was for the arcade game. Maybe. So they would have to separately get another license. Get another license. I'm just gonna say at the bottom. RC70 says the coolest around here has a box 5200 in really good condition right now. Four hundred dollars. Yeah, so bad. It does look like brand new though. I oh. wouldn't even want to open it at that price. Oh, if it's, if it's really good. I got it. Because I was aiming for it the whole time. Because there's no bars up and down to dodge, so. Alright. Really cool. cool. Very cool game. Very well done. Uh, next one is Gremlins. It's uh, kind of a piece of garbage. Yay! Uh, in my opinion. It's a real mixed bag at this era. There's some really terrible Most, games and some really great games. I think they're very wide in the spectrum. Yes, like, you've got both extremes. People just coming into it very late and trying for the first time, and then people who've been doing it for, you know, years at this point. Um, these are all for years. known, known companies. Yeah, but the person programming it at oh, the company might maybe. not be very experienced as possible. I think this is just or a cash out fast. Yeah. This is a cash-in cash in. for sure. Once you play it, you'll be like, okay. You have to catch them. Have to catch them? Yeah. Yep, or they eat the burgers, and then they turn into gremlins. Get all the mogwais. And the background graphics are, are not bad. You can tell what they are. It's a house. Obviously, the Mogwais are running on the roof and jumping off the roof to get burgers. Kind of weird. But there's a fence and a house. Okay, you're going to the next stage. You're shooting the gremlins. And pretty good graphics here, too. Full screen play field. Who's the player supposed to be? Uh, I don't know, not some unknown ah. dude. Ah. <laughs> faster now. Yeah, much faster. Oh gosh. Dead. And there's um Two little, so precise. Two little dots in the you bottom. Have to hit him the right line. up, right up the. Uh, <laughs> right up the crotch. Right at the crotch. <laughs> Seriously though. So this is by Atari, August '84. CX twenty six one twenty seven. Scott Smith, programmer. Mimi Knight in graphics. Robert Vieira, oh. sound. Looks like an old man with male baldness. <laughs> male. It does, doesn't it? Pattern baldness. Yep. I mean, uh, his graphics are not bad. He's got pants and a red shirt. And they look like he's kind of sunburned. He's very pink. He's very pink. Simple but, game. Yeah, very simple. I mean, not. it's hard enough. It's, it's perfectly playable. And... There's not much to it. Yeah, catching and shooting, catching and shooting. To be better with the paddle. Yeah, it would be. Like 100 it is. With the it is 100 percent a kaboom game. Yeah, it's totally kaboom. And then this is just like a shooter, standard boring shooter. It's not even a good shooter. It's just like, yeah, okay, slow things coming down the screen. Should it be Billy? Should be Billy. Ah! But it's amazingly not terribly hard to get them, even though they're going super fast. Didn't do well there. Probably because I said that. <laughs> it's not terrible, but the paddle would definitely be better. Yeah, the paddle changes the game. Like, it makes it sometimes too easy, but then they have to ramp up, and oh now they're coming God. twice at a time. Come on, line up! There is an out on the bottom left where you can just clear the screen. I can't remember how to do it. You either press down or the button, you have to go all the way over, and you press down. It explodes everything on the screen. Oh, does it? On that stage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you don't... It's very precise as far as the lining up, so... The yeah. paddle would be much better. Maybe it's that. It's still 
you have to hit them right in the... You have to hit them right in the crotch. <laughs> it's, 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 uh... It's more for score, I think, because... This once, level's for score. Once, no, once, once they get to the bottom, you move to the next stage. This is where you can die. The other level, you can't die. Oh, God, yeah, forget it. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah. Oh, it's almost, it's done. Oh, yeah, throw me <laughs> under this. Easy. It Easy. is Billy, but it doesn't look like Billy. It's very okay. odd. I got to play for 10 seconds. Yeah, Five that's seconds. Fine. Next one is Stargate. All right. A good game. Got the head of an old man, the body of an old woman. <laughs> very true. It's, it's a, a large very, package. very unusual shape. Stargate, August 84 by Atari CX26120. This uses the button on the second joystick to help you out. I think it destroys everything on the screen. Press button. Okay, shoot everything. Uh, rescue the dudes. Oh, oh God. Right into First it. bullet. Uh, and watch for people being stolen, or listen for people being stolen. So, am I rescuing people? Uh, oh, one's being stolen on the very left side. There he is. Don't shoot the guy. Now capture the guy. Bring him to the bottom on his platform. There you go. That's the game. Oh, what what is this reminiscent of? Defender. Yeah. But, I mean, it is the sequel to Defender. Is it? Yeah. I think... Or, I don't know, I'm confused. Somebody else can explain what Stargate, how Stargate is. Oh no, I Defender. shot the guy. No. Uh, it happens. There you go. Or... Ah! Oh, God, munchies. Yum, yum, yum. Dangerous. Ah! Oh my gosh. The I feel this is better slow. than Defender because the, con the controls are better and the movement's better. Um. Stargate, uh, programmed by Bill Aspromon T, per, uh, oh and God. sound by Andrew Fuchs. Game over. That didn't take very long. Oh, boy. AK Defender 2. Yes. So somebody did, uh, hack this back into Defender by changing all the graphics and sound. Oh, you're so fluffy and cute. Somebody's being stolen. Oh, they were. I think he's low enough. He's low enough. Ah. He has a he has a limited parachute. Let's say. Oh, death! Oh, oh, death again! Trying to get the guy, and you hit the hit the, the human. It's gonna be some friendly fire, unfortunately, in this game. <laughs> that guy, you will have to rescue. Oh, oh. both of you dead. Oh, you're so silky. You're the silkiest cat in the house. Yeah. No, you don't want the pen. Well, you do want yes, the pen. Yes, he does. Oh, God. You can't, you can't turn pen. around very quickly oh, at all. Oh, made it. Did I? Okay. Yep, because right you ran into the... the last dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's one way to play the game. Yep. Here you go. Do you want a cat? Fine, though. No, he wants you. Oh, yeah, it's really good. You. Silky cat. Hi. Oh, and you don't disappear when you shoot. That was a thing. Silky. Um, because in Defender, you um, you're. Sh Ow! Ow! Hey! Don't fuck him. He All needs right. his claws cut. He is. He does. Sharp. Both of them need their claws cut. They are dangerous monsters with knives in their <gasps> knives. Some guys knife hands. hands. Oh! Oh, too late. My rat cramped. Knife hands. Yeah. They're like, yes, our natural state to have super sharp claws. We can kill the birdies. Kill all the humans too. Oh. Oh, there's one more. And he's stealing a human. Come back here. Oh, all you have to do is touch him. Uh, Patrice says, Hi, very fun game. Defender 2, much better than the one. Oh, yeah. Way better. The movement in, in Defender, the original mm -hmm. Defender in the 2600, is so weird. Like, you turn around and everything turns around at the same time. And follows you, rather than feeling, like, natural. Oh, that was close. That oh, was my God. No, oh, no. Uh -huh. Too panicky. Oof. Oof. 
you is don't fly too fast. Oh, no. oh, close enough. Oh, one more dude? Nope, oh, one more. There we go. Two more. Oh. Yay! And Defender 2 was an alternative official name. Okay. <coughs> was Stargate a name for this game in the arcade? Oh my god. Maybe. Turn into a little... That's hard. They turn into tiny dots. There we go. I always thought Defender and Stargate in the arcades were almost the except, same except Invis in Inviso on Stargate. Okay. Next one is terrible. It's <laughs> birthday mania. It's, it swings one way or the other. It seems. <laughs> this was a great game. This is a terrible game. So this, I believe, is the personalized... Oh, paddle. It's a paddle game? That's okay. We needed to start it. So you could get this game personalized for you. Oh, really? You would really? send them your name, and they would put your name on the screen. Well, that's kind of cute, even if it's not a great game. I'm sure and there so, are kids everywhere who are just thrilled with like their a, personalized games. So it's like a birthday present. And then you play... Oh. There you go. And it plays happy birthday for you. Aww. One of those paddles. Someone got mauled by a cat. <laughs> oh no. Okay, there you go. And you shoot the things coming I'm down. not moving. No. Shoot the candles. Nope, nope, that's not moving. Why, why am I not moving? All oh, the way there to, we go. All the way to the left or right. It's oh, a big span. I always forget you do that, that every time. It's like, oh, it's not moving. No, it, it reads just a part of it. Um, this is August 1984. Oh, this game is super, super easy. So if you miss a candle, your air goes down by one, and you have 46 of them. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's just a simple... <coughs> it's more of a fun gift. More of a cutesy to, gift. Yeah. yeah, to put your name on a cart on the screen. Uh, by Personal Games Company. Uh, by Robert Anthony Tokar. This is fairly rare game as well, like really rare. You, did many people these. get personalized games? No. No. So there's not many. And, and they would have the person's name on it. Well, that's kind of cool. It. Yeah. So if you buy one, it has some, some kid's name on it from 84. It would be fun to find the kid. Yeah. And shame on him for giving up this game ever. It's personalized. Super rare, Charles. It was Wayne. probably their parent who threw it away. Let's mm -hmm. face it. How many of my old toys did I come back from, like, university, and my mom's like, yeah, I got rid of all your all your old toys. Your parents got rid of your Nintendo, my Commodore dad, 64. My dad still talks about losing all his baseball cards when he, when he went away yet, to university. Yet, he did it to you, too. Wow. Tossed out the Nintendo, tossed out the Commodore 64. Wow, well, yeah. Right? I probably didn't have much interest. And Parents I probably... never learn. No. They just never learn. They just keep tossing out the kids' I toys. I was surprised he got rid of the Commodore 64 because yeah. he loved the Commodore 64. But, I mean, it takes up space and... It's this you know, big. Space. Oh, it takes up space. It's tiny. I still have mine. Yeah, and it takes up space. <laughs> <laughs> so I do the cats. I understand. Cats? So do the cats. It's between you and the Commodore 64. <laughs> oh, oh. We're gonna so decide, mean. Oh, we're, we're, so mean. We're going to decide tonight whether it's you or the Commodore 64. Oh. Funny. Tanya seems to be um, rooting for you. <laughs> I am. Oh, <laughs> we'll so we'll mean. See. Depends if you go after the toilet paper again. Oh, that's true. <laughs> or knock over my coffee. It's never good. <laughs> uh, Dan says, I still have all my Star Wars figures from the first three movies. Very, nice. very nice. That's a good. I figured this would be rare. So many bad games are rare. Yes. Yeah, because no one buys no them. No one bought them. Like, uh, no, thank you. And everybody tossed them because they're garbage. Yeah. And now they're like super, super rare. Or the cassette games, I guess, as well, because not many people probably loaded from cassette, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're really rare, too. And those are pretty cool, actually. The, both the Berenstain Bears and the Smurfs seem pretty cool with all the music. Yeah, the timing of the game it's and the music. Cool, it's very cool, but they're obviously very much children's games as well, oh, so they don't yeah. only appeal to, like, parents and young kids. Yeah. So. I didn't even know there was a game as part of this. I, whenever I read about it, it's just like, oh, it's a personalized cartridge. 
but I never read that, oh, there's this very simple shooter <laughs> attached to it as well. Yeah. So, he learned something. It's like five minutes. The graphics on the candle are good. Yeah. The guy is... But the candles don't even change. I mean, terrible. that's... Like, you would even... You would think yeah. maybe a birthday cake or something... Something happens. Something nope. would fall. Candles forever. I don't know. Maybe it changes at a thousand. I mean, there's a lot more. How come you're so attacky on the hands now? Did Geo teach you that? Probably. It is super cute, but it's no, very bad to it's do. It's very bad to get cats attacking your hands. Two seconds. He's it, just become a bad cat. Next game all. is very ambitious as well. Parker Brothers. Parker Brothers are on a roll. Yeah. Um, so that's the end of the panel game. Losing air one. No. Yeah, Yorgis Castle used to work at Blockbuster. We would throw away things that would fetch money today. Well, that's always of true, course. though. You'd never know what the value of something is going to be in the future. So, Kick Frogger 2. He's chewing on me. Frogger. Frogger 2. Totally different game. Is it? Yep. Aug October 1984 by Parker Brothers. Psst. Stop it. <coughs> uh, PB5590 by Mark Lesser. Um, oh, okay. so he's actually in the water now. He's in the water. And it doesn't immediately kill him. He must have learned to swim between really Frogger 1 on and Frogger this. 2. When I saw this on my C64, the graphics, I was like, wow. That's a lot going on. Oh my god. Smoosh. So it's, it's it. similar concept. You can get the bubbles. Uh, the seaweed at the bottom is deadly. You can ride that turtle there. The fish are deadly. And you want to go up. I'll show you all three levels. There's three levels to this. You go beside the log. <laughs> you go to level two. Oh. Oh. This is where he dies in the water. And then... Oh. oh. Oops. And I'll show you level three. If I don't die. So this is dodge the things. The other one is... Oh, I didn't do twice. Hmm. Joystick uh, disagrees. Yeah, it does. You can hear him meow, can't you, Charles? <laughs> meow, meow. If your if your question is why is he meowing, <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. He just does. Okay, you go on that swan for level three. It flies you to the sky. Oh. And this one is wow. bouncing. Oh my God. I don't know why they blanked out the right hand side of the screen. Very strange. You're bouncing onto birds' backs. Interesting. Yep. And you and the same goal as Frogger is uh, you have to get into all the little slots. Uh, no! Smooth. No! You should fall, but anyway. No. He is broken like my cat. Thank you, 2600, for resubscribing. Thank you so much. 2600? Oh, yeah, the words. Yeah. So, so you can get into those. If you hop on the side of the log, it goes to level two. And you hop on the swan, it goes to level three. Gotcha. So we'll just go to level three again. The graphics are a little bit harder to distinguish, but there's hippos and there's... I don't know why there's fish. I don't think those are fish in the uh, actual game. Those pink things. Uh, oh. The current... On this is uh, very interesting. So there is a current. Fight the current. Nice. Okay. Let's go to... Oh no. Graphics are really good for a 2600. You can get pretty high. Oh yeah. And it's only one at a time. Yeah, you can bounce as high as you want though. Yay. Yay! So that level's done. So if you go back to the level, you can't fill in the hole and you have to fall through the sky. Um, nice. Actually, I should try and finish level two. Because I haven't shown that one yet. So you, have to go to, so you don't want to finish this because there's stuff on level two you have to... Oh, God <gasps> damn. No. Dead? Almost dead. How do you get past that set of ducks, or do you not go past them at all? Uh, you do. I've just been failing. Uh, badly. So I'm gonna try and do that now. There we go. Because every time I try and get on the ducks, um, 
I die. But there's big spaces in between, right? So... And the mother... See? You can. Oh, God. It's a whale. Then you have to get on the dinghy. On the dinghy. Cute. Really good graphics. It is really good. Ugh. It's Even better on the C64, of course. But I played the hell out of this on C64. Nice. <clears throat> okay. 15 seconds. Yeah. So, uh, I would recommend that one if you like Frogger. Next one, uh, Montezuma's Revenge starring Panama Joe. Probably the best platformer on the 2600. Okay. It is astounding what goes on in this game. And how many levels and how much variation there is. Here, give it to me. Oh, yeah, you can play. Give it to me. You read out. <laughs> Okay, Montezuma's Revenge, starring Panama Joe by Parker Brothers, Henry Will the Fourth. Will what? Oh, what? Oh, no! I looked at you. Okay, I got the key, which can open... The door. The door. This needs more than five minutes. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, my God. Does this not remind time. you of VHZC's games? Yes. There's definitely a skull You can left. get a sword, which yeah. protects you. I can't get to that. Protect you from anything, just once. Oh my god. Yeah, very VHZC. <laughs> very VHZC. But <coughs> the variation in this very game precise. is unbelievable. Multi screens, different uh, things you have to jump on. Jump across it? Oh, that's a uh, thing. And um, the ma the layout of the maze is one level. Yeah. Three, five, seven, nine. Whew. Check this out. That looks dangerous. Looks like lava. It's a <gasps> dark maze. Oh no, James's favorite. Oh yeah, that's terrible. Oh, what the hell? They're down. No. Yeah. Sounds like you did something. I'm down. Ah. Oh! Something kills you there. Oh my god. Jump up. Oh. Look at the smoke. That's awesome. <gasps> I don't know what you do. It's hey, psst, bad psst, cat. Psst. Get out of there. What are you doing? <coughs> bad kitty. Oh! I'm gonna go to the left. What's this? Stepped out for a second. It's Montezuma's Revenge. Which is a euphemism for something else. <laughs> oh my god! Ah! ah too fast. Because it's a very short period of time. You have to get through that. Especially the double one. Oh my god, my hat fits in it. Oh, uh, zappity zaps. Oh my god. Yeah, very precise platforming. It is. Yeah, that's the one unfortunate. I don't have a sword yet. One unfortunate thing about this game is very precise. Oh, Ooh. no key. And I don't know if I can jump over that no. very easily. Not I'm going to try. <gasps> Good job. Oh, oh come right on. into him. Pinball time for cats. Pinball cats. It just never stops. <gasps> oh, so hard. Uh, and dead. Like moving platforms, ladders, like, and it all looks really good. Yeah. This is also impressive as to how it got crammed onto a 2600 cart considering it started on 8 bit computers. Yeah. And is represented really well. Oh, yeah. Forget that treasure. Not worth it. Oh my <gasps> god. It's too low. Too low. I think the left here. Oh. Doing terrible, by the way, everyone. I am sick. <laughs> I'll, I'll use that as an excuse. Yeah. Maybe you can't get over them. Oh, you can. You can. You can Oof. jump over everything, I think. Oh. Uh, and then you just jump up the ladders. You'll die That's if you rough. fall. Whoa. Ah! 
Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Only one hat left. One hat. Careful. Can oh. you hear the cat, the destruction of the cat in the other room? Playing with plastic bags. He is a crazy kid. Oh, I don't have a key. Does have it a, turn yellow when you have a key? I have different color idea? keys. Oh, this was that that was dark the same before. Level. Interesting. Ah. Oh, we can't jump off down. the ladder. See, that's what killed me. I think you have to finish a level and then you can go to the next one. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, time's up. Really, really <laughs> impressive game. Very cool game. One day I will finish it. Oh. And dead. Next one is also impressive, but I think a bit too ambitious. It's Mr. Dew's Castle! Uh, October 1984, nobody took credit for making it. Uh, by Parker Brothers, PB5820. Uh, okay, uh, this is not easy to understand. Do you want me to show you? Sure. Um, so you push ladders, and then you can climb up that ladder on the other side and go to the right. Thank you for resubscribing, Ground Trooper. 45 months. Wow. Okay, to kill them, you have to hammer a piece how, of... How, how do I get off this ladder? Just to the left. No. It has to be precise. It's oh, stupid. my God. Just like every other game in this era, pixel precision. Precision. There's no jumping. How do you push it? Uh, you have to get up to the top and push it from the top. So you can climb up it and then push it over. Yeah, exactly. If you've played it before. Okay. Hey, ground trooper! So, there's ladders. You go up the ladder. Okay. You can push the ladder. Now it's on the other side. Oh now you can gosh. go up to the other side. To kill the monsters, there's, there's multiple things you can do. You can put them in the hole, but that does not kill them. Um, to kill them, you have to drop a piece of floor on them. Come over back here so I can show you. There. That kills them. That's the only thing that kills them. Gotcha. So, and once you've hit the floor out, that floor is gone. And you can't pass over that floor anymore. Oh, come on. You piece of crap monster. Good music. There is, oh, there's another way to kill them. I'll show you. I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, very good music. I think it would be hard to understand what's going on in this game without... Okay, let's do that. Oh. There. Oh. There's two axes. Okay. And it takes out the whole floor. Oh, wow. If you do one and the other X. Oh, oh, I think I have a chance. Nope. He climbed up. Of course he did. So do you have to kill them all? Is that the idea? Yep. Oh, no chance here. Oh, no. He's... There's something monsters here. Come on. Yeah, you want more treats? Is that what you want? Is that what you want, little kitty? Oh. Crown Trooper says, I'm so far behind on these episodes. I don't think you can do anything up here. You'd think you could smash these guys in the head? <laughs> that would cannot. be nice. Yeah. I think I have to draw them way down. And then the, go back up not, to get above them. Yeah. They're not that would make sense. There. Just just stay Ooh, at the, that what edge. What I'm gonna do is push this ladder over here, and then stay here. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh, damn it! Okay, one more to go. And wow. I think I can do it if I go here, and he stays down there. And then, oh, you piece of crap! Imprecision. Come on down here. Just wait. Yeah. And I have to wait for him to get past the ladder and then go back up no. and hopefully he comes. No. no. I'm gonna have to do it here. You're gonna have to do it on that side. Okay. Like, you back need here. more time to. Oh, there, we, there go. we go. Get over. Oh, oh you bar Oh, you bastard. You turn green. Is that because you hit him once? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Go there. 
Oh, there's two of them now. No, I didn't know that. Aren't some of the floor panels keys? Oh, there's a key. That's right. I think I messed up though. No, I can still get it. Oh, he oh, no. created a floor, pl floor plan. Oh yeah, it does re get restored. I think we're on level two. They're all faster now. No. Still Are you level sure? One. Oh, I'm gonna have to get that key. Okay, I have to get up here. There you go. You're okay. You're a good cat. Oh! Oh, come on. There's a key. Did I not... Wasn't that on a key? Well, there's another key up there. Oh, I'm gonna die anyway. <laughs> Five minutes are up anyway. Oh, I want that key. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's hard as hell. Yeah. Um, the graphics are just barely passable, I think, on that Hi. one. Hi! <clears throat> Hi, you're very cute. Next is a game I'm terrible at. Terrible. But a lot of people seem to like it. Spy Hunter. November 1984 by Sega. Uh, made by Jeff Lawrence. Midway, it says. Um, 01101. The button on the second joystick triggers some of the effects. Okay, press the button. Have you played this game before? Oh, it sounds so familiar to me. Okay, you can shoot things. You can bump things. And when that truck comes back, you can get upgrades to your vehicle by driving in the, into the back of the truck. So you can bump them off the road. There you go. No, don't hit the side of the road. And there are cars that also can kill you. Ugh, oh, like that? There, there's the refueling. Well, no, because I died. Yeah, you died. That's why you came back. you into going? No, no. <laughs> no. That's the oh. slick. So you can get uh, oil slicks, and you can get... Um... So I played this for a while in the emulator. Is there no boat area for this game in the 2600? Maybe I just didn't make it far enough. Oh, bit of bump and jump going on. A little bit. Oh, did you die? Yeah. yeah. There, there's a fuel. There you go. And now you have oil slick. I remember playing this game. I don't know if I played this. Has it been on different platforms? Oh, many. Everything. Because it's such a popular arcade game. I'm going to put... Get, get in front of that guy. There you go. <laughs> oil slick. I think. I think it's oil slick. I think so. Get in front of that guy. Oh, extra, extra dude. Definitely want to just look at that guy. He has spinning blades on his tires, and he will kill you if he I, bumps I, into you. I do remember this yeah. game. I do remember it. I know I've played it. Probably on the C64 was, I then. I think so. I think yeah. we must have had a copy of it. I did, too. I don't think I played it too much. I don't... I played it probably not knowing how to play it, if that makes sense. Oh, get it. What do you have now? Oh, smoke screen. How do I activate them? I do it. With my Oh, you're my doing foot. it. Oh, yeah. 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 I thought I was doing it. I thought I was hitting backwards. I'm oh, very no. confused. Oh, no, it's I lose it all. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. It's called Spy Hunter, but you just destroy everything. Yeah. Not very spy-like, yeah. Oh, can you get back in? Oh, wow! Yeah. Nice! Oh, come on! He just parked beside you, waiting for you to move. I mean, very cool. I mean, it's not a bad translation of it. No. Oh, your truck's like, no, get out of my way. <laughs> when I see people zooming through it, I'm like, oh my god, how do you not die? Yeah. Like, instantly. Like, I run into everything so quickly oh, it's, in the it's arcade. it's very dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Super dangerous game. But I guess, play it, play it smart. Oh, you understand the movement of... Ugh. What? Um, but in the arcade, you can turn into a boat, and there's a boat sequence. I'm not sure if there's a boat sequence in this. Yeah, I do like that the game gives you a little bit of time with infinite lives to let you get used to it. Yeah. 
How far are we into 84, 85? Just curious. Oh, almost, we're almost at the end. Almost at the end. We're almost 85. We're in the last couple of games of 84. Yeah. Come on. Can't shoot your vehicle. Here we go. Gimme. Oil stick. Joystick on the floor as a as a pedal is so perfect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these two cats are sleepy now. I don't know how you select uh, other weapons when you have multiple. It's probably different directions or Maybe something. Maybe down. Because I tried to change different directions, but it didn't uh, show anything. Cool. Uh, pretty cool game. pretty good translation, <laughs> I would say. So down to the last two of 84. Next one's Tapper. Excellent translation of the game. Or port. Whatever you want to call it. Adaption, port, translation. Uh, Tapper uh, by Sega. Uh, 01001. Oh, lucky. I can't play. Oh. Great little animation when he moves away. It's like, pew, pew. it's like a, a blur. Uh, and he did a little dance. Little girls at the <laughs> top. Uh, made by Steve Beck. Good use of uh, uh, duplication and triplication on the 2600 for this. It's amazing how many games that actually works in. And they were able to use it. Oh, oh I touched through through. Oh, we gotta get that glass. You can move in to get the glass too. Can you? Yeah. You cannot let it fall on the ground because you will die. Oh, oh, oh! Guy made it. Oh, he threw you. Funny. Service! Yeah, good music in this one. Yep. Yeah. How did they do this? Uh, pretty, pretty simple. A lot of it's play field. Um, there's a little bit of jagged edges. Okay, watch. That one's bad. That one's bad. That one's bad. That one's bad. Last two. Okay, third from left. Watch it. Watch where it goes. I've already lost it. You tell me which one. First is. one. I think. Over here? I kind of lost it too. Mountain Dew! Yay. I don't know why you're playing it like a basketball. It's a little harder to follow than other versions because... Not super smooth animation. Oh, nice! Good job. Very quick. Sometimes it's not that quick. How did they do this? Uh, a lot of play field. A lot of things staggered. Because you see the um, thirsty people are on a different plane than you are. Yeah. Um, so, really clever. So there's able to be two sets of people of triplicate or duplicates uh, for each of the hungry or thirsty people. Because you see some of them move and stray. Okay. Second. Third. First easy. Last three. Last two. Last one. Second from last. Second from last? I thought oh, it might oh, be oh, that oh, way? That way? So, uh, I don't get the movement at all. You have to watch them flip, 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 flip. Promotional Confederation by Mountain Dew. Oh, this one's... Oh, too many. Three. What? You threw one too many oh, beers. Oh, jeez. Oh, different music. Interesting. Oh. Oh, <gasps> oh no. Oh. Oh, this is the alien bar. Oh, oh no! Oh, I hit up! It didn't go up! <clears throat> That's my problem, is... Oh, does this version not have people leaving you tips to collect? I don't think so. They don't... You do get glasses sometimes. Yeah, no tips. Oh, glasses, glass. I don't think it has enough capability to do that. Because you can throw too many... Beers? Uh, they could have made a line of money just below the beers or above the beers. That would that would be fine. We haven't seen any money yet, so. Oh, uh, too much. 
much. It's really good though. It's a great translation overall. I 100% agree. I've always been interested in tricks they discovered the 2600, but I don't understand it the first time out. Um, if you want to like get a good insight into how they're building the screen, you can use Stella and, and press Alt period on your keyboard and it'll break down what graphics they use for each of the uh, items on the screen. Toss. So close. Good job. That, you did really well. Yeah, I don't like, know. It's really well. Super fun. Super fun Died game. Just perfect timing. Perfect timing. Five minutes in. Next one is Up and Down. Okay. Which is a very fun game, actually. Good translation. I played this in my C64 uh, by Sega as well. Sega made some good games. November 84, Up and Down. Up and Down. 009-01 uh, by Steve Beck and an unfortunately named Fat Ho is the name of the person. Okay, I'll play this. It's a bit weird to look at. Okay, really good graphics. Oh my goodness. So you can jump. You have to collect the things on the white track. One? Yeah, I'm the white one. You can jump on top of them, too. But don't let them touch you. Oh god, I jumped off right the track. Right into the water. <laughs> yep. Good use of play field. A yeah. little, little chonky. Weird, yeah. The graphics are oh quite well done. And you can jump from tra <coughs> track to track over a gap. So oh, I can't get there right now. I'll try and find a good uh, instance of it. Wow. It seems very awkward, though. To get them all? Uh, I think you can. Nope, you're not gonna get it. Oh, yeah. here's a good example. Okay, let's see if I can do this again. It's a hill. Uh, pretty? Once you know it's a hill, that's pretty pretty good. Oh, now I have to get it. Uh, I think you do have to get the flags. Like they're at the top. All of them? Yeah. Oh, here, here, here. Me. Debug colors in Stella. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. It's a weird game. <laughs> it is a weird game. Uh so this is the last game of 1984. Oh, into the grass. Oh, you jump off the track if you're not careful. Yep. If you jump too far. Pretty decent representation of isometric. Uh, very fast moving if you want it to go fast. Uphill. Oh, oh he he turned backwards. around. I don't like this game. This game seems really difficult. It's, uh, it's a very odd game. I think you have to get used to it. I think at first it's very challenging because you're like, oh my god, There's what's like happening? There's like a weird momentum thing going on. Yep. Oh. Because <laughs> you want to jump to avoid it, but then you just jump off the track. Yeah, you have to slow down and speed up. It, it, it is just weird. You can go backwards in midair and slow down in midair. So you, your goal is, is to get, to get, all get the, the flags. flags. Uh, yeah. Get too oh my god. Yeah, you can only jump forwards, it seems, actually. Yeah, only forwards. Oh, what? There's a flag there. Yep. There we go. I don't know what the cherries are for. The extra lives? 
or something, or just points? She has points. Oh, oh that, was, that was very, very lucky. Yeah. Oh, they always back up on you. Oh no. It's a tedious game. <laughs> I haven't gotten any further than that. The blue. Three more flags. Oh, I need to jump the yeah. gap. Oh, are you? No! Not that gap. Oh, oh. So hard. So hard. It's challenging. Now we're into 1985. Okay, good luck with this one. 1985. It's... Oh! It's not only Qbert, it's Qbert's Cubes. Oh no. It's challenging. Okay. To play this, you have to match those. Actually, mm -hmm. I'll change the difficulty because this is on hard. They made hard difficulty B. Okay. So it's on A. Okay. Um, you have to jump off the cubes in a certain direction to flip the cube. And you have to match the cube at the top left. So purple on the top green facing, white on the side. And the, the fully green ones are already turned to that... No. Already turned to the correct color. <laughs> uh, Cuber's Cube by Parker Brothers, May 1985. PB5500. You can get the turtle. Can? Yeah. So it doesn't have the rotation that the arcade does. It just flashes. So I don't understand how you're changing the colors. How did you s explain that again? Okay. Because the I don't I don't know how you because there's the colors because there's no animation. It's really hard to see that they're changing properly. Um, so you have to think of the cubes as a six-sided cube that flips as you jump off of it in the direction you jump off of it. But what am I trying to do? You're trying to match each a line of cubes to the one at the top. So you I know want it's... them all to look the same. E uh, yes. So see that Weird. purple? Oh, yeah. God. So you want it's hard it to, to turn that way. Yeah. Yeah. So you want it to turn that way. So yeah. let's you see. You want to go up. Yes. So if I do a go up, it should be purple. But now it's orange on the left. I want the. I have to change it like four times this way. Oh. Four times just gets you right back to where you you're were. rotating the cube in the direction that you jump. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not represented well on this on the twenty six hundred because down down again. Oh. Trying to, nope. Nope. You now it would work. There we go. Oh, you want what? You don't want it green. You want no, it on no, the no. top cube, right? There we go. You want it green? Green means it's completed. All green. Oh, green. okay. So you kind of want white on the right-hand side. Oh, yeah, no, no, I get it, I get it. There we go. Now I need it to be purple. There we go, and one more. Oh, that's the bad green guy. One more will rot rotate it to green on... Oh! Yeah, I'll pass. I'll pass on this one. <laughs> Qbert's my least favorite of the... Of the... This is like advanced Qbert. Ugh. It's not just jumping Too on Too complicated, yeah. Yeah. It's really complicated. Yeah. I didn't realize the green means it's completed already, so... So, let's... So, we want purple on the right now. On any of these. Oh. Does that change it? No. No. Well, you can't smush it when it's a ball. Not that ball. Green balls. But not purples. I thought you could smush the purple balls. Nope. Up. Up. Up flips that way. And then I go this way. It should... Yep, there's purple on the right. So now I just need to get... Get the hell out of here. One more up. Oh, it made me jump. Up. No. All right, go back and this up and it'll be right. There we go. There's a purple on the right, and then up or down, I don't know. It's making me change things I don't want to change. Well, you have no choice. I know. There we go. There. Nice! Oh, you not just, just one direction. Yeah. One line, yeah. 
I'm sure there's variations where you have to do too two, ambitious in my opinion, two lines. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's a little complicated. It does work, but so I need a blue on the right. Oh, no. Oh, I do this twice and it should be right. There we go. Any other blues on the right hand side? Nope. Oh, that one is. God damn it. You made me mess it up. Be blue. There we go. Now, which way are you going? Go down and up. Damn it. All three of those you just need to go up on. Oh! Up? Nope. I don't. No. Just oh, you missed it up. up. There you go. The bottom one there you can just go up on. Talking about this one? Both of these you just need to go up, up. Oh, It'll good. Turn green. Oh, thank you. Okay, just in time. I played the heck out of this when I was a kid. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I can see getting I like the to puzzle it. aspect of it. I don't like the keyword aspect of it. <laughs> That's my hot take. Uh, now, that was May uh, 85. Now we're Cosmic Commuter. I was on o that already. October 85 by Activision. Nice. John Van Ryzen, AG03804. Okay. Cosmic Commuter. This one is pretty lame in my opinion. I'll show you how to do it because it's okay. a little weird. Okay. Great graphics. Okay. Looks nice. So you have to land your thing. Are you which landing is a, a on level. a golf course? Yeah, you're on a golf course. <laughs> so you have to pick up dudes that need a ride. And you shoot the big... Shoot the things. Oh, there's the dude. He needs a ride. You pick him up. See the map and it at the bottom? It a golf course again. Yep. And then you also need fuel, which is always at the top, okay. at least in this level. And you pick up the next person. See it's flashing at the bottom on that little map? More fuel. Yes. See the rolling Slightly number on the right hand ask, side? But not quite yeah, the same. A little bit. See the rolling number? Yep. That's your fuel. Because you're gonna run out. The next person. Do you lose fuel by shooting things? Uh, I think it's just by moving. I don't know. Just time. Just time. It's just the first level. So much Easy. harder on the yeah. second. I didn't play it much past the first. Never yeah, it's pretty this. lame, says Thrust. <laughs> <laughs> this game? It looks pretty yeah. simple. Yeah. Got one more passenger. It's, I don't think this is up to Activision standards. So, and then you go back to your ship. You dock. And you take off. Yay. And level two. <laughs> you can keep playing. Okay. <laughs> Doing decently well. See what level two looks like. There's huge gravity on this, so it's very hard to land that actually. But it doesn't seem like it should be even part of the game. Okay, so this. Uh, just do this one. Pick up Mr. Dude. Get some more fuel. Oh, oh god. No. Oh god, did you shoot the fuel? <laughs> <laughs> it does uh, respawn pretty quick, that's yeah. good. In this level, it does. I guess a fuel of nine is the highest you can get. Yeah, and it just. I don't see two digits down there, so. Thrust, you don't like this game? <laughs> it's amazing. So much going on. There's no Pick up man on the golf course. <laughs> Get your fuel. Get your fuel. There's lots of fuel in this level. Yeah, he's finished golfing amongst the volcanoes. Percy something he says, did you play He-Man yet? This reminds me of it. We I had it did. as a kid. We did play He-Man. That was a bit of a head-scratcher. Yeah. <laughs> um... Could not figure the damn thing out. I think I, I, it used joystick and paddle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were having trouble with it, too. Yeah. Some of these games are like, they make it 
hard to play on purpose almost, I find. It's like, yeah, instead of making the game better, we're just gonna make it complicated. Yeah, yeah, to exactly. To do things. Ground like, Trooper says it's easily the rarest CIB in the Activision set. Oh, the He-Man, yeah. He-Man or this? Oh, this, I guess, yeah. Uh, no one right. kept the box for this thing and not many kept the little lame manual either. <laughs> oh. It's funny how that is, yeah. eh? Yeah, because they're like, I know how to play. Chuck the manual, chuck the box. Oh, well, I guess I gotta take off without. Yeah, you don't want to hit Four seconds! Right? Let's see what the obstacles Four are in this zero. Next, next level. Oh, I'm just kicking ass. I have so many lives. Oh, look at that perfect landing! Look at the background. Oh, they <laughs> wobble now. Uh oh. Oh, they're I'm coronaviruses! They they're coming are. for you now. Oh, they got us. <laughs> They did. They did get us. Sadly. I'd be happy if I knew that, oh, I'm immune forever, but that's not no. how it works. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. It's more like more like a cold. Yeah. Or the like, flu. Get another cold. Yeah. Okay. Eventually. All that's right. That's the game? I don't know. It's pretty, pretty weak entry into Activision's library. <clears throat> Next one is Ghostbusters. October 85 by Activision. Oh. By David oh, Crane and Dan Kitchen. Um, I believe David... Nice. David Crane did one part of this, and Dad Kitchen did most of it, I okay. think. I can't remember what David Crane did. He, he, he contributed uh, something to it. Okay. Have you played this before? Uh, yes, but I don't remember. I'll show you a bit. I know you drive around in the, um, in the Hearst and, uh... You go to sites and you trap the ghosts and then you bring them back. Yeah. Load up on the traps. And like there's money. I think there was a Commodore 64. Yeah, thrust. Played the hell of the C64 so version. Did I. There's I think I had it and I didn't really know how to play it properly. There's That's much, what I remember. Much more to it on the C64 version. Yeah. This is limited. It says some of it. So you go to the red, drive your car. I always used to hit things. Oh. You plant this, you move this guy to the left, far left, you move that guy to the far right, and you wait till the ghost is in the middle. And then you have to wait for him to get into the trap if you don't get him in the middle. Come on, get in the middle. Get in the middle! Come on! There, oh, oh, oh! Oh god. Oh, I got him anyway. <laughs> then you press nice. the button to shoot it up when he's near it. Music's great. Oh, yeah. Music's very good. Probably get us flagged. <laughs> oh, no, that was not in the middle. There we go. You do not cross the streams. Oh, oh my god, what? Oh no! I still have guys. And you can uh, touch them to stop them from getting to Zool. And you vacuum them up if you touch them as you drive. Very big sprite. Very big very sprite. Very big. Must be quad. Oh, you bastard. I'm just gonna have to fire randomly. Nice. Yes! He slimed me! He slimed me. I don't think there's any voice other than in the song in this game on the C64. No voice on this. You're probably like, yeah, the, the market's crashed. We're not giving you any extra room for voices on this cartridge. Ooh, ooh, you don't... I don't remember him escaping on the C64. No, you keep, it was easier. You keep firing on the C64, yeah. but there's not enough sprites to do that. Oh. So I'm running out of guys, so you have to go back to your headquarters. Okay. Pick up more guys. And the goal of the game is to get $10,000 uh, before... There's another guy. Before Zool um, emerges. More luck based. Yeah, it seems it. Yeah, much harder than the C64. Whee! And I think there's obstacles to dodge in some versions. Yes, like, like I remember that. I used to. The NES version? I think there's obstacles. I used to struggle with the driving, if I remember. Come on. There we go. So. That's, there we go. It's kind of luck. This is harder on the 2600. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, this is the last game of the day. Is it? Yep. 
Last game of the day. Ghostbusters. Wow, that's last not much in 85. Of, last game in 1985. Already read that, actually. No, three games. Three games in 1985. Because I guess 80, <laughs> yeah. 84 is just after the crash, and they're like, we've already made all these games. Yeah. We might as well release them. Yeah. And yeah. get some that money sense. from them. That makes sense. And then, get them out anyway. Then in 85, everybody's like, oh my god, it's over. Yeah. And no one, not, no one's developing. We'll do developing. something else, right? Yeah. yeah. All these developers. Yeah. Nostalgic 26. Game is inaccurate. No traffic on New York City roads. Agreed. <laughs> well, there is uh, a lot of ghosts happening. Yeah, and, and true. And if this were Vancouver in 2020, <laughs> 2022... Uh, where are the bike lanes and the and <laughs> the right. and the you know the bikes you have to dodge along the way? But so the, those are good. Ah, oh, you crossed the stream. I didn't realize <laughs> you controlled both of them. That's funny. You do. It's um, been a long time. Good graphics in that game. Excellent. Uh, pretty limited gameplay, but and repetitive. There's also um, a marshmallow man that you have to set a. Um, a trap for? A trap for. Nice. In the C64 version, nice. you have to actually dodge between his legs. Oh. Uh. Um, but it doesn't have that. Uh, were they called away to provide programs for the NES? The NES was not possible. out yet. Not, when did it come out? 87? Eight, well, oh, well, maybe 85, yeah. 85. In North America? The NES? Yeah. I think 85. So, so. Pro probably a lot of people jumped from one platform and learned yeah. to program in another. Yeah. So I know David Crane 85 says did. RC David 70. Crane developed for the NES, but I that think a little, sense. a little bit later, though. Yeah. Uh, so that is it for 8485. Yeah. Oh, we've uh, got the Sprite and Atari cam up there. Oh. Oh, sleepy they cats. Don't like looking at my feet. There we go. <laughs> sleepy cats. Sleepy kids. Um, did I want to put any. Checks so which that. yeah which ones tapper's good I'll tapper's excellent so my really picks version. for today uh beam rider okay hero yep uh pengo which is surprising i really hadn't played that simple but it worked really well really well yeah uh, gyrus of course one of the best musics um and translations from arcade montezuma's revenge even though it's really hard yeah uh and tapper for me beam rider again it was excellent. Yeah. I uh, the motocross racer I thought was pretty fun. I liked I liked the yeah. play of that. It was simple, but it was fun. Yeah. Um. What else? What else? A text is automatic for uptime. I didn't know that existed. <sighs> I guess it's part of Twitch. Tells you how long you've been playing. Tapper definitely Tapper was good. Yeah. Yeah. You did really well in Tapper. Oh, I enjoyed it. It's fun. Yeah. It's a fun game. <clears throat> Yeah, those those are the ones that kind of yeah. So what, what is everybody else? Uh, what were your favorites today? Yeah, any ones that stand stood out or ones that you had as a kid and played the hell oh, out of? Sir Lancelot was oh, good too. Actually, mess. kind of an interesting uh, spin on. Actually, uh, did like that if it was a there's a bit more to it, like just a bit more. I'm sure if you get on the further, dragon stage, it gets harder. On the big dragon stage. Yeah, because we only got through a couple of levels, so I'm sure as you go forward, there's a little bit more. I played but on I don't the know. emulator, and like the fourth boss dragon stage, he just goes whip, 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 and oh, you're just I see. dead. It's like, just really no hard. Chance. I thought it's that just... was kind of fun, actually. I thought there were more good games than bad games. Pango for Al sure. Fur. Yeah. Oh yeah, good mix. Way more good ones than bad ones. Millipede. Yep, Millipede's very good. Magic 8-Ball. <laughs> I don't know. Blame Savior X Tanrin? Is that somebody who's lurking? <laughs> Outing them. Outing them. That's you. Why are, why are you... Oh, I'm the bot, I guess. I didn't say that. Crystal Castles, good translation. Millipede, yeah. Stargate, If I can see people really liking Stargate. It's not my type of game. Even though it's a shooter, you'd think it would be. Yeah. It's not. Why are your commands coming up, though? Uh, see, people say exclamation mark, magic eight ball. Oh. And there's like, see, mix it up, quotes. Oh, okay. Steam games. People are, Steam, are putting commands sub age, up. title. Interesting. Yeah. I'd moved on to 8 bit by this time. I had an 800 and an Apple IIe when these were released. Huh. Yeah, I had at 85, 86, I think 80, 85 out of C64. Okay. Me and Mr. Deuce Castle went played properly. Yeah. <laughs> well. I tried. <laughs> it didn't appeal. No. 
Yeah. Least favorite B-Day game. You know, even that wasn't a terrible game. I just, it's very cute that you can get it personalized. Yeah. But that was clearly the worst. The, the reason for it being created is just so you could get your name on it. It was front. worse than Extraterrestrials, and that was bad. That was bad. That was just a that nothing was bad. game. Yeah, Extraterrestrial was the second worst one. Yeah. Um, out of non kids yeah. games, Gremlins was pretty low effort. Oh, that was pretty, yeah. That All the good. rest had something to it. I mean, none of them were horrible. Really looking forward to playing Private Eye again. That yes. was really cool. Yeah, I want to play that through. Um, it almost earned a check mark, but I don't think I would find myself playing it over and over again. No, just no. Just to play it to complete it. But just that. I, it, just those games that have like a whole little world that you have to you have to find things and backtrack. The graphics were amazing. And quite that. like that. Private yeah. Eye and the the controls were astounding. Like the very good. Were yeah. So good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we're done eighty forty five, and we have one more day, and one then, more episode, one more stream. Wow. And we're pl and we would have played every single twenty six hundred game amazing. released released to the public. That's amazing. Not even just on cartridge. We played all the... When, all the I, when I first started play, uh, setting this up, I'm like, oh, we'll play the main uh, like Activision and Atari, and we'll, we'll stick yeah. to the big ones. Then yeah. I went, well, we're going to do it. Just do it. Just do them just all. Just do it all. Get it done. Yeah. Never have to do it ever again. <laughs> yeah. And this was released to the public and sold to the public kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. There's not a lot homebrews. Of, not, not, yeah. not homebrews, not prototypes, not unfinished games. Yeah. Um... Uh, we we'll do prototypes another time, maybe okay. for another for fiftieth anniversary or cool. something. Yeah, because uh, there's a few a lot of prototypes. That's going to be a bit difficult because some of them don't play, but a lot of them are almost finished. Like Pink yeah. Panther was finished. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll, we could do that on the fiftieth or some other occasion. Yeah. Get to do it all. Uh, get it over. Do all of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, get it over. Yeah, do all of do it. Just do all of it. Do it all. Why not? It's really fun to see there's, how they evolve. There's only 450 games. <laughs> if you're it only takes if 30 you're hours. only taking five minutes with each not one. Do, not doing it again it's this not next year. Yeah. <laughs> not on the 46th anniversary. Yeah. So tomorrow is the 45th anniversary it is. of the release. The wide release, I don't know, the release of the 2600, September 11th, 1977. Yep. Nice. September 11th, tomorrow, 2022. We'll be playing 1986 to 1992, where it's very sporadic. Yes, it's I'm all sure over it's all place. over the place. Yeah. Uh, we'll be kind of catching up on games that don't have a release date at all. Okay. I think there's like four. That just have no release that date. Nobody knows when they came out. They just kind like, of... Super rare. Okay. There's no records. Nobody remembers. Yeah. Nobody wrote it down. They weren't advertised. They were very but small. But they were sold and people bought them somehow. Yeah. They were very small games. Yeah. Um, yeah. So tune in same time uh, mm -hmm. tomorrow. Uh, let's take a look at what's coming up. So yeah, that's today. Tomorrow, uh, After Dark. I don't know if that's better. Let's make it bigger. Uh, tomorrow, After Dark, 1986 to 1992, 10 a.m. Pacific time, same time as today. Uh, then on Tuesday, we're back to regularly scheduled games yep. of homebrew again. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> uh, we're going to be playing Hero 2, a hack. We don't play hacks often, but this one's a bit more transformative. Um, so we, they were nice enough. Game Select, uh, Ricardo Pim, is uh, nice. sent over the binary for Yay. Hero 2 that was just sold on in the box recently nice at a convention more details later okay it's available to buy now uh online so you can check it out on tuesday and see if you want to buy it uh, we're going to be playing linemen as well eight tanks nice uh and uh probably one or two more games because uh eight tanks is pretty small linemen's pretty small hero two not so small <laughs> um and that'll be regular time um probably friday's going to be an eight bit Day. Okay. Not so much 7800 has been released. Um, so there's a bunch of 8 bit games that have been released that I need to catch up on. And we'll be playing at least Dracula Story. Nice. And that's going to be with Darcy at uh, pending. Pending. A that we're, cl that we're clear, clear and clean and we can disinfect both of us our house. Are clear. So, yep. Yeah. Dracula Story, a musical. Yes, from. Uh, uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. It's, no, I don't. I can't remember what it is, <laughs> uh, but it's not that. Um, we're going to do an Atari Lynx special, most likely 
Tuesday or Friday next week. Okay. Not this Not next coming week, week but the, the week, week after. after. Do you uh, want to explain why you're having such trouble with it, or have you you've discussed that already? No, I haven't. Okay. Um, I'll talk about it when uh, the we get it when the when we get it going get it up and going and perfect. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to get it all sorted. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, or he then, is. I shouldn't say me. <laughs> Tanya's helping a lot. Yeah. No. Moral support. <laughs> Moral support. The cats uh, are here from in o- late October. We're going to be playing through the ABB UC games for 2022, the contest, mm. uh, including Bunny Hop and a whole nice. bunch of other games. That'll nice. be a lot of fun. Looks like a nice mixed bag. Okay. Of course, with every kind of contest like that. Um, don't know when exactly that be. I think it finishes October 27th. Um, so we'll see how that times out with an episode. Nice. Um, so that needs to be moved down, actually. And on October 7th, we have the exclusive world premiere of Load Runner 2600. Ooh. Huge show. Uh, and live interview with Dion Olsthorn. Nice. That's going to take up the whole show because it's it's a big game with lots of levels. Yeah. And, of course, the interview as well. Okay. That's going to be a lot of fun. And that'll be the last show before PRGE. Yeah, PRGE. Where you'll be able to buy Load Runner 2600. Very nice. Very yes. Nice. And so we'll be talking with a lot of developers there. I know a lot of you will be there because I've seen the name list and I've been keeping track of people oh, I, good. I recognize from the show. So we're planning a meetup. Yes. I guess the question is, is what is the best day to meet up with people? I don't know if people have an opinion on that. I mean, Friday is the official first day. Yeah. But that's the arcade day and it goes late. Yeah. And I th- I want to play arcade games. Yeah. I know a lot of you will want to play arcade games. So we're not thinking... It kind of has to be Saturday because Friday is the arcade. Then the well, floor... either you do it on the Thursday before, oh, or you do bad. it on the Saturday during. People are not going to be there Thursday. I know some people are going to be there Saturday. Okay, so Sunday. Saturday might be a better option. Sunday we're leaving uh, before. Very early, unfortunately. So it's going to be Sunday night, and we're thinking at the arcade. What is it called again? Oh, Miss- uh, missile command. Press start or missile? What is it? Command. Press command missile press command start? Isn't oh it press what start? is it called i can't remember now in portland the yeah. big the big arcade that sponsors yeah. the prge yeah they're pretty fun that bring in the games yeah somebody will type they'll it. probably even have something going on that night for prge i wouldn't be surprised oh yeah but, yeah. but anyway. i think that's where we'll have the meet up um oh no problem yeah yeah we're happy to finally meet all of you yeah, yeah. in person we chat with so many so, yeah yeah i mean we will not know what any of you look like <laughs> Except yeah. for a couple, like yeah. probably the developers, I know what they look like. Yeah. Um, because people don't post their picture in the forums. Very true. Or here. Yeah. But you'll know what we look like. Yeah. yeah. So you'll have to come up to us and say hi. Well, I'm blah. Yeah. Well, we'll find it. I'll promptly forget your name. A very specific place where we can do it because they have food. <laughs> oh, it'll be at the bar. They have drinks. They have food there. It's all arcade games. It'll it's be at a the bar really cave. fun place. So, called? yeah, I want to say it it's up. Press Start, but that's it's, probably another arcade I'm thinking it's of. Not, it's, it's not. not. Uh, Portland Arcade Bar. Oh, there we go. It'll be Ground, Ground control. control. There we go. So, this is where we're going to meet up on Saturday at Ground Control. We don't know what time. It'll be after it closes. Give a little bit of time for everybody to sort themselves out, yeah. take their games back to their hotel room. Yeah. Uh, that they bought, including us. Um, and so, what time is it open until midnight? So that will probably close it out. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> What's going on well. with this thing? I, and from what I recall, it's easy to get to downtown Portland from where the convention center is. You just hop on their transit there. They're, um, they have all yeah. those... Uh, Ground-based transit. The rail, the light yeah. rail. Yeah. yeah. I think it's so, pretty easy. I think so, too. Um... All ages until five, after five. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know when uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo closes, but um, we'll we'll arrange that. There's lots, there's yeah. about a, an hour. Uh, bring, bring the cats. Oh, we'd love They don't to. like it when you bring your pets across the border, unfortunately. Yeah, you have to get a lot of paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of paperwork done. You're going to have to stay here. But uh, yeah. we'll, we'll Skype with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could do we'll that. We'll hold up the, a camera. At the arcade. We'll have, our, we'll have the person who uh, uh, cat sits to yeah, uh, hold the camera. You can interact with the cats. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Uh, so I think that's it 
for today. Yes, it is. Um, I'm going to go sleep now. Have oh, some tea and me sleep. Too. Oh, I have to arrange tomorrow's my, show. Get over my sickness. So. Yeah, I have to arrange tomorrow's show. Hopefully tomorrow will be a little better. Less yeah. sneezy. Getting better every day. Oh, I am too. I, I Two days ago was worse, and it's just been a gradual. It, it's been getting better and better every day, so that's good. Yeah. You're much better. Yeah. Just, I have more congestion than he does, so you didn't seem to get too congested. It's now. It's just kind of You're feeling a little up. bit now? Yeah. yeah. I didn't sleep very well last Take night. your time to get well. Yeah. We did. Video still, games are a good way to We were going to play. We're playing video games better. anyway. And <laughs> exactly. Watching TV, so might as well broadcast our yeah. sickness. Yeah. Broadcast it to everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't get it. It's okay. Yeah. Thank goodness. Um, that's it. Thank you for tuning yeah. in to this... Uh, very long stream, but... Four and a half hour stream? No, four, because we started late, so... Oh, we did start yeah, late. Yeah, it was about a four hour stream. Not bad for, what, almost 40 games, so... Yep. About 40 games? About 40 games. Oh, thank you. It's great to be back. Yes. It's we're happy. wonderful. We're happy to see everyone and chat with everyone. We hope you enjoyed the stream today and yep. our coughing slash sneezing didn't I'm pretty turn good. you off too much, so... Yeah. Um, uh, plugged up noses. <laughs> yeah, we all sound like we're underwater right yeah. now. Um, so we'll see you, uh, see everyone tomorrow, yes. same time, 10 a.m. Pacific yes. time. Yes. 1 a.m. Eastern time. Yeah. And uh, spent a lot of and spent a lot of time in the first two. That's true. Yes, we did. Because they were kind of premieres. Well, it was that nice was to be able to play them. The first time anybody's able to be play them on an emulator. Yeah, 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 yeah. So thank you again, Thomas. Yes, for Thomas. For making yes. that happen and allowing us to include well, them in our special. The music is quite is quite interesting. And it's so period specific to like that the early mid eighties, oh, like yeah. that music and kids shows. Oh, I know. It's pretty cool. Say oh. bye bye. Yeah, there's. Here's our Atari cat. I'm going to lift you up a bit yeah. to get over the chat. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, he's like, do not pick me up. Okay. I don't like that. Okay, we're done. Okay, so we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, see you all then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.